At ease, pool sharks. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. You're doing great out there. You're already halfway done with this week. It's nearly the weekend, baby. Nearly the weekend. I mean, not really, but, you know. You know, we, we're, 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 we're glass half full kind of gamers around here, I'd like to hope. Welcome in. Welcome in, Kyrick. Welcome in, Mage. Welcome in, Foe. Gaud evening, Greedra. Hello, love, and hello, Asha. And hello, uh, lurkers, everybody else playing around out there, messing with your fidget toys and whatnot, making sure that you're appropriately stimulated. I know, I've been there. I've been there. Don't worry. It's never it's never a salty 2 g pool stream if I'm not, like, playing with a toy or something while I'm also chatting with you guys. You can't see it. You can never see my hands, but there's usually something in them, something colorful, and delightful and um, articulated that I can play with. <laughs> I usually just uh, start monologuing and going off and I just reach for whatever's near to, near me right now. Um, I've got one of the little model kits we played with on Sunday. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi Jay. Hi Jotnamas. Not an action figure, it's an incredibly brittle gotcha m uh, Gundam model toy thing. It's like a bust of a model kit, so it's just the chest and the head. I don't know what series it's from. Oh, I think Hayao Gundam Double O. Whoa, she's learning Japanese. No way. Congratulations, Thrash. There you are. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome in, Thrash. Did you have a nice day today? What did you do today, huh? What did you do today? Hi, Nest. Welcome in. How are you doing? <laughs> it's Darkstalkers Day, baby. I dug a hole. How far was the hole? How how far down did you get? Did you did you go to the other side of the planet? Did you bring back Chinese food? <laughs> they don't do that anymore, do they? When's the last time somebody's made a cartoon gag where somebody dug to China? It's been too long. Maybe we maybe we uh, navigated the globe and realized that that's not exactly where you end up. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. It was, a, it was a funny They still do it upside down in Australia? That's good. That's good. I heard their toilets flush in the other direction. I don't think that really matters at all, but that's what I've heard. Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Ed, Ed, and Eddie did do that, and they were pretty good about that. <laughs> That was a good show. Ed and Eddie was one of my favorites as a kid. Hi, Hotsen. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Did you like Ed, Ed, and Eddie when you were a tiny tot? Ed, Ed, and Eddie and Courage were like my two big ones back then. You know, as long as we're talking just like straight, regular, uh, middle of the afternoon cartoons, that's where I thrived. Because I was Toonami faithful. I was there every Saturday night. I'd watch, I'd watch Kids WB in the morning and I'd watch Toonami at the night. Those were peak, peak wonderful days. The glory days, looking back on it all. I remember one night they had like a, they had a big marathon where all they played was the Mega Man Star Force anime. And I was jazzed up, I was excited, I didn't want to miss a second of it. But my grandma, she wanted to go, uh, she wanted to go out, walk to the, uh, convenience store, the Combini, if you will. So I had to miss like an episode and a half, and that ended up being a show that after that point was exclusively on their their website, Toonami Jetstream or whatever. And I didn't have a computer back then, so I was so upset that I missed like half of the marathon. <laughs> oh, good times. I don't think that show is very good, but maybe I could be proven wrong. What a gentleman is escorting Grandma Pool to the convenience store. Well, yeah. Duh. You have to. You gotta. I mean, it's not like she would have let me stay stay there anyway, but you know. <laughs> Welcome in. Hi, Fontaine. How's it going? Yeah, we're talking about Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That was like my favorite show as a kid. That one and Courage were both up there for me. Then I went on a Toonami rant because I always go on Toonami rants whenever we talk about cartoons. It's what we have to do. It's all we know how to do is talk about Toonami. We love Toonami. It's cool that Toonami's still going. Sometime like last year, they had the English premiere of that big ass Dragon Ball One Piece Toriko crossover. 
which I thought was pretty cool. It was nice to see that um, they're still getting they're still getting the respect that they deserve. They were able to get that even before like streaming programs or something. Granted, that's like a decade old special by now, but <laughs> and Toriko has long since been out of fashion. <laughs> I don't think anybody's thought of Toriko in a very long time, but it was still cool to see them finally, like, dub that one and, uh, get all the cast members and everything together, because it's a fun special. It's very goofy. It doesn't really feel like any of the three shows involved, <laughs> but it's still fun. Hi, somewhere. Good afternoon. What was your favorite cartoon when you were growing up? I remember... Jace, Jace said it earlier, how, like, yeah, Ed and Nettie had the best ending of, like, any cartoon, just because they brought together a lot of, a lot of the subtle narrative moments that were brought up over the show, which it's not really a show that has an intensive plot or anything, there's hardly a plot at all, but le leading up to Eddie's brother and everything, who was always this force to be reckoned with and all, it was a lot of fun, it was cool. A great sprite work and fighting game tonight? Mm-hmm. Well, if you didn't know, this Saturday is the VSAV Vampire Savior VTuber Invitational over here on Swelty 2 g Pool channel. So, I figured, what when better would it be for me to do my Capcom Conquest on Darkstalkers, you know? Like, it's right around the corner, so we may as well, um learn a thing or two about it. It'll certainly help me commentate the goddamn thing because I don't... I haven't played that much Darkstalkers in all honesty. I've played a little bit. I haven't really, um... What? Why are you sad? Why are you sad? I didn't do anything! Hi, is she, is she? Invader Zim was very good. That was a cool show. Crazy that the guy who made Invader Zim made so many other just like insane, definitely not child television appropriate comics. But hey, you know, we're all kind of freaky with it. Not doing anything is quite sad. What the fuck? Ah, <sighs> all the DC animated shows are what you always go back to. Sorry, I forgot where I dug my hole. How could you forget? It leads to the other side of the planet. It's gotta be pretty big, right? You better go out and look for it, maybe. I was never a DC DC fan when I was a kid. Like, um, I totally missed the animated Batman. I liked, I liked Batman Beyond's design, but I couldn't tell you a single thing about the show or anything. I thought he looked cool and that was about it. And, um, I guess Static Shock's a DC. I watched that as a child. That one was pretty cool. I also don't really, really remember much other than the school shooting episode where the kid is so tired of getting bullied, the bullies start to go up to him and he pulls out a gun and they go, what's that? And he goes, a gun. And then he shoots somebody. It was messed up. Batman Beyond was cooler than it had any right to be. That's good. I remember I saw the Return of the Joker movie a couple years ago, and I was like, wow, this is pretty good. Oh, no, this I is pretty watch cool. The what the heckies? It was insane. <laughs> Static Shock was insane. There's like one YouTube poop of that show, and it's pretty good. You saw the Saber Spark review of that? Really? I've never watched Saber Spark. Is he competent? Does he do a good job at reviewing? The stuff. I think my roommate met him at a convention one time, but I don't know a single thing about him. It was a good video, you just wouldn't call it a review. Oh, I see, I see. He's one of those. Like when you um like when you review Banjo kazooie nuts and bolts and you throw in a narrative instead of talking about the game, I guess. That's fine. You can wear your black shirt and become evil reviewer of the internet for a day or two. That's how it works. You don't have any cast members, so you just become the evil persona of yourself. Irate gamer versus evil gamer. Who comes out on top? Return of the Joker is legit one of the best superhero movies ever made. It was really cool and, like, it was surprisingly dark. The whole, like, everything that leads up to all the climax and the mysteries and everything. It was scary. You saw two panels he did at a convention? Cool. 
My roommate also met the Nostalgia Critic, which was pretty cool. He has a very funny photo of, him, of them together. <laughs> Aw, good times. Good times. The lip sync on my model is super good. Thanks! My, uh, ironically, I'm talking about my roommate. My roommate is the one who made this goddamn model for me. Um, and he hasn't done a lot of, uh, 3D modeling stuff. He's been dabbling in it for a few years, but it's usually just, like, practice and not, he doesn't always, like, finish things or... They're built specifically to serve as, like, reference points for him or whatever. But, he just took, he took it upon himself to, uh, learn how to rig and learn how to, uh, make mouth shapes and everything. And goddamn, he knocked it out of the park right right away. We've got other funny things. We got this one. I never use this one, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> this one, this face is pretty funny. Um, you're sad. If you guys ever want to make me sad, I'm ready for you. And there's angry, but I don't ever get angry off ever. You know that? Well, I'm you know I never get angry, so I never have to use this one. Right, guys? Right? Okay, just checking. <laughs> Mask of the Phantasm is absolutely well, incredible. That was a very funny What's face. that? La, 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 uh. <laughs> what is Mask of the Phantasm? The is that angry. another Batman He's Beyond movie? Other than like Return of the Joker, my DC knowledge basically dies there. Is the first Batman animated movie? I see. I see. That's cool. That's not true. I know I played the first two Batman Arkham games, so I know a bit of Batman from that. Those games are good. A lot of like AAA titles and whatnot don't interest me, but I played it one day a couple years ago, and I was like, wait, no wonder everybody likes this, because this is pretty fun. <laughs> Came out on like 93 and Christmas? Whoa. That's cool. Batman's been around for a long time, huh? Thank you for the hydrate craft, man. He was supposed to be direct to video, but it was released at theaters at the last minute. I guess they must have just like realized, hey, we have something really cool on our hands, so let's uh let's make this a big deal. And then Digimon the movie came out, and everybody pogged. Everybody pogged. They said, Batman, who's Batman? I want Angela Anaconda. <laughs> Kevin Conroy is the best Batman? Is that the one who did the animated series? Or is that another guy? I don't know. I don't know. We're talking a lot about things that I am very uninformed on. <laughs> um, he did the he did do the animation? I see, I see. That's cool. You know about Angelina Conda Digimon short that plays right before the movie? That's true. It is required watching. You cannot watch Digimon the movie without watching the Angela Anaconda short. That's just how it goes. Whether you're in the theater or you've got the movie on VHS, it's there. She's waiting for you. She will get you. You never knew it was just shot, a shot for shot an episode of the original show. Wait, really? Really? Huh? <laughs> they? You, you mean they didn't make that for Digimon fans? They didn't make that specifically for Digimon fans? What the heck? The actual uncut first Digimon movie is a great kaiju film. Well, yeah, duh. But that's why we like the American version, because it's three OVAs that have nothing to do to each other, snip, snip, snip together in the one quote-unquote coherent film. That's... it's not... what the... you're blowing my mind, Nest. You're blowing my mind about that. I had no idea. I was like... Because there's so many little Digimon things. They have a scene where she turns into Angelamon. What are you talking about? How could how could they how could they cut in Angelamon into that? That doesn't make any sense. Angela Anaconda is not good. I've gone out of my way to watch an episode or two, and it is it's not a very good show. It got like 90 episodes, so someone clearly liked it back in the day. <laughs> but uh. I don't know how it got as got as far along as it did. <laughs> but swell, would you go on your way to watch another episode? No, no. I think Sorry, uh. I green lighted that. That was you. You were in the animation industry. You were part of Foxbox. That would explain a lot of things, actually. 
I'll post it in the Discord? Thank you. I'll be sure to check that out later. <laughs> You think their pocketbook liked it for being cheap to make? That's true. I mean, compared to regular. What game is it? S N E S. I have to be nosy. Is it when you can't see it? It's right there. Just you can go look. You can go look. You don't need to. You don't need to ask me. You got eyes, you little puppy dog. It's Mega Man X. It's legally distinct Mega Man X. Hi Natsume. We're talking about Angela Anaconda. I saw a video how they made all the shape keys and stuff out of the real girl's face so that way they could animate them and that was pretty interesting to see the uh to see the magic behind the behind the technique and everything. I ran Fox kids into the damn ground and I'll do it again. Again? But those kids don't have anything else to look forward to anymore. Please. Please, they need your help. Kids so don't have the anything. Oh my the nanny? That is a very invigorating and original series. Yeah, movie. yeah, there you go, there you go. There you go, you're smart, you're... <laughs> hey, Thrash, you, you, you know, you know, you're... You're a pretty smart cookie. Yeah, I don't know if anybody liked Angela Anaconda. I'm just impressed that it lasted for so long. Like, I didn't... I couldn't have fathomed it having more than, like, 26. But it's in the 90s, it's crazy. There are 90 episodes of Angela Anaconda. And it's always about her being, wow, thank you, being so I mad at Ninny, wow. and Ninny being a stuck-up, snobbish little brat. But also Angela Anaconda is usually kind of a brat, but she's still painted as the hero because it's her perspective. It's fucked up. It was the show that came on before the good stuff, so... <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, for what it's worth, we all remember it, so... Clearly, it had to stick out somewhere. Everybody here seems to know what we're talking about. It's like pure distilled annoyance. Holy shit. Nanette Menor? Is that Ninny? Is that the villain girl? Is that the evil, stuck up, snobby little brat girl? Don't really like her. Don't really like anyone Fun in that show. Did you know, hear G4? about that story about the divorce that happened because of Angela? What yeah. a terrible thing to do to people. That's the other thing people remember about Angela Anaconda is how how somebody uh, went to where their parents were already having trouble with each other, and they went to see a movie, and they saw the Angela Anaconda short, and they were just so mad. They were just so upset by it that it just triggered everything, every sort of malice they had towards against each other and ended it all. Tragic. Tragic. You ever watch the American Darkstalkers cartoon? It does not look good. I don't like the art direction. I don't like most Americanized art directions from that era. It does not look very exciting. I know there's an anime, too. Hi, Augersley. Welcome in. I know there's a Japanese anime that looks better. It looks closer to the characters, though. I feel like that one probably doesn't get too... That one probably doesn't get as, as cartoony and wild as the games do. That's what's so weird about it. Darkstalkers is like, it has such a strong style to it with the cartoony antics and the anime flair. You could make a really like cool show like that, just combining all those elements that the games use. But the American one is like really serious and G.I. Joe-esque and ugly. And then I don't think the anime, and maybe I'm wrong because I am a bit uninformed on the, on the television series, but I don't think the anime really gets too wild and wacky with it either. Scott McNeil played Raptor in it, and he was so good he returned for the dub of the OVA. That's good. You wanna see an RE Engine Darkstalkers game? God, I just feel like a 3D Darkstalkers game would kill it because, like, I don't think they would be able to do it justice like that. It, like, 2D hand animation where you just make all these absurd, nonsensical, bizarre attacks and whatnot. I feel like 3D, that would end up being more work because you'd still have to model every little thing, so... Just give just give me hand-drawn pixels or art or whatever, please. That's, that's all I'd ask. 
I suppose you could do it like fighters, but even then, fighters is only so exaggerated. Like, um, they, they use a lot of camera tricks and stuff. There's a gif you can find of Gohan doing his one-handed Kamehameha, where it, like, unlocks the camera, and you can see that his arm gets fucking massive, because they have the camera spinning around him, so you're just supposed to, like, see, like, the palm of his hand where the Kamehameha is charging. But when they unlock the camera, you just see his hand, his whole arm grow, like Luffy's doing his fucking Gear 3 or something. Talkers, please. But I feel like 3D, like, a, a lot of times Darkstalkers characters, you know, they, like, transform into strange shapes and creatures and whatnot. And that would be so much more work to, like, make 3D models of everything. When they could just draw pretty pictures. But I don't know if Capcom would do 2D anymore. I don't know if Capcom would have it in them. Power Stone 3, that's a better idea. They're doing Capcom highlight things tomorrow and Monday. And I don't feel like we're going to see anything new because they've sort of outlined what's going to be there already. But what happened to Pragmata? Is that game real? Is that game going to come out? I don't know. They've got that goddess game that they talked about on that Xbox thing today. It's like action and strategy gaming combined into one. And that kind of lost me on it. If it was just like a core action game, I probably would have been more invested. But, um... Oh yeah, they could talk about the results of the surveys. I forgot about that. <laughs> Go yeah, Ghost and Gob- that's true, Ghost and Goblins was in the RE engine and 2D, but that's a very particular, like, symbol animated style that would also look really bad for Darkstalkers. <laughs> so, I guess it- I guess they can do 2D if they really want to, but that would not work for Darkstalkers. Well, see, that's the thing. We don't we don't need sprites. Look at look at Skullgirls. That's all. That's all. That's nice. That's all like hand drawn animations and stuff. And that game's really pretty. That you game's know, beautiful. The only day Donkey Kong Country Air Don Fox case yeah? was the same day Bill Clinton was impeached, really? causing some stations to only have the show on air for five minutes. Oh, that's messed up. That is so fucked up, Bill. Bill! Why did you take Donkey Kong from me, Bill? Why did you take the Banana Slamma from me, Bill? Clean up your act, buddy. Bill! Hi, Skater Boy. Hi, Nimmerinamin. How's it going? Haven't seen you in a while, little buddy. And Possum, hello, welcome in. Oh, oh, eh, oh, oh, oh. oh, I scrolled in somehow. Oh, I got a new mouse, and it's very... It's very, um... I'm getting used to it. <laughs> the DKC cartoon is so mood. It's insane that each episode has like two songs in it. There's like two songs minimum. Or at, at the very least like different. The Russian spy. Are you good? Are you good? Is, is he Russian? I don't know. I never watched Bill Nye as a kid. I knew the jingle and everything because that's it. everybody knew that but I never watched him. I think we saw, like, maybe one half of an episode in school one time, and that was it. But I never knew what channel he aired on or anything. Probably PBS. Probably PBS. Oh, you're like Goofy from Disney. You're a dog! <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I don't, I don't even know what Beekman's World is. I've heard the name before, but I don't know... I couldn't even tell. Is it a cartoon or live action? A science thing? I don't know. I don't know. Is he a bird? Or is it like a beak like a beaker? Live action? Goofy is not a cow. That's Clarabelle cow. How dare you? There's a cool rat guy in Beekman. Hi, Squeaky. You got a thing for cool rat guys? I don't blame you. They're cool. You just said so. I am not a duck. I am oh. a robo pup. Get your naming right. You can't even match your outfit to match the theme. I'm shaking what my the? head. What right the? What are you now. talking about? What do you mean match the theme? What do you mean? I think I look pretty good. Thank you very much. You haven't watched RP George Wood videos in a while. What? I don't know. <laughs> I realized Beal and I was on TV, just thought of him as a VHS thing. Yeah, me too. I didn't know he was like a TV guy. I thought he was just... I thought he was just like, um... 
like a you would go to school and then you would play a video and like the substitute was in or something. Retsupre Gaming and the Clinton years. Oh, oh, that guy. That's cool. I want to watch Game Center CX or whatever. I didn't know that existed until like a few months ago. And then I saw that he and Sakurai did a collab together, which was quite fun. So I want to watch his show, because it seems like there's a lot of it out there. <laughs> the character Goofy from Mickey Mouse was actually modeled after a breed of Scottish cow. Okay. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah, links are allowed. For now. Until somebody makes a great big mistake. And then they won't be allowed anymore. But for now, they're allowed. What the fuck? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Who is this <laughs> Sweet, dude. <laughs> cool. Wonderful. Ain't no cow looking like Goofy. You know what? I also did a collab together. Really? That's cool. Yeah, pbs.twimga.com Lester the Rat. I didn't expect him to be a real man, you know. I thought there would be some sort of tiny little puppet if we were going on live action rules, but it is just a very big man. Did I hear about the game based on Bill Clinton's cat? No. This is news to me. Tell me more. Tell me more. Feed me more information about Bill Clinton's little kitty cat game. Game Center CX episode for Balloon Fight they had Iwata on? Oh, really? That's cool. I bet he's got tons of cool guests that were uh, hanging out around there. He seems to be a pretty big deal. Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill. It was cancelled after, and after some drama the game was dumped. Damn. Damn. You never should have got your dick suck build. We could have had Socks the Cat. We could have had Socks the Cat. Whoa, Quimimimo. <laughs> 30, 35 years without a foot job does something to people. Poor Bill. Poor Bill. What? The ROM is available at least in a mostly finished state. That's cool. I'll have to look into that sometime. I bet I can see... I bet there's some cool gameplay of it out there, and I bet it doesn't look very exciting. Bill Nye was on Disney Channel originally and ran in syndication on PBS. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have pegged him as a Disney guy, but... That checks out, I suppose. Play the two Game Center CX DS games on stream someday. Oh, I've heard of those. Did those ever come out in America? Because I know... It's called, what is it called, like, Retro Game Masters or something? How big of it is it? does it have as, as, like, an American presence? Like, the official English subs or whatever. Um, the first one is in English? Really? Huh. That's cool. That's surprising. I mean, if it's a game just about retro games, I can see how it got over, even if people didn't know the show. But that's cool. Interesting. You will have to look into that. I've been thinking a lot lately about streaming and what I like about streaming and what I want to do with streaming. Um, so I want to like do get a lot more involved with the things that I'm putting together. I don't always just want to play a video game. Like for example, these Capcom streams we do, I have a lot of fun like doing research and putting things together to talk about with you guys and everything. So, and I want to do even more of that. I still want to, like, just play through games, too. Like, um, like, you know, we're doing Wind Waker right now. And that's just very chill and fun. A very, like, easygoing game. But I, I really like just having more, like, involved streams and stuff. So I'm going to be trying to do even more stuff like that as the, uh, as the weeks and years and months and decades go on. So look forward to that. Little, things that are a little more involved that require a little more work to put together because that's fun to me 
you can be it can get just like a little bit like eh, you know, it's Wind Waker day yahoo yippee way Wind Waker wow yippee wow here we go Wind Waker you know <laughs> you know what I mean it's just fun to get more involved I am having fun with Wind Waker, wind Waker? more like Wind Breaker la 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 exactly exactly whatever did you make a fart joke Thanks. Um, speaking of, I guess we can talk about Darkstalkers now. Um, I think we've hit the legally mandated Zatsudan requirements, so we can talk about that, I suppose. I mean, if if you'll allow it, if you'll allow me such a such a humble thing, Skater Boy, that's strike one. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Be careful. You love learning about a video game history. Fantastic. So, um. Wind Waker? More like your mom. La li lu lu Okay, that one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. More like Bark Stalkers. Woof woof. I don't have dog ears on this model. I'm not, I'm not in puppy mode today, okay? I'm serious. We're serious right now. We're serious gamers. Okay? Okay. I've, uh. I've, t I've done things a little bit differently for this time around. If you've been around before for the other Capcom streams, usually it just tends to be like um, just magazine reviews and stuff like that. Um, but this time I've taken things a little differently. We're just going to talk and try to learn about stuff mainly. There are still some little like magazines that I have in here, but mainly we're on educational television. So... Get your pens and papers ready to take notes for the big test. And we're going to go talk about Darkstalkers. Bada bing, bada boom. Finally, the year comes. 1994. The music, the music's really low. There we go. 1994. A good year. Right after Street Fighter 2, of all things. Um, yeah, like right after they released Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo in 1994, they decided, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we, like, made a fighting game that had just nothing but Blancas, basically? <laughs> Literally 1994. Use Division fucking up names again. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets pretty convoluted how every Darkstalker... Well, Darkstalkers isn't even, like hardly a thing in Japan, unfortunately. They call it like Vampire and Vampire Hunter and Vampire uh, Vampire Survivor, you know, the favorite iconic video game on all mobile devices. Darkstalkers, what if the entire cast was freak characters? Pretty much. So, um, I learned, I learned that, um, the producer and concept designer i forgot to get pictures of people so i just have things to look at for display reasons alex jimenez took the idea from a capcom brainstorming session when they were coming up with just what other cool fighting games can we work on and they thought that because if you're familiar with capcom up to this point they really like marvel they really like a lot of american properties and they really like um making stuff for american audiences so they thought what if we made a fighting game based on the universal studios monsters the iconic classic film monsters you know you've got creature of the black lagoon werewolf dracula um frankenstein's monster all that stuff they were pretty immediately rejected and uh, jimenez is is has quoted saying that he came up with all of his quote-unquote original characters in about an hour and if you look at all these guys you really can see like um we've got we've got a creature of the black lagoon we've got a we've got a vampire we've got a, a mummy the mummy the classic guy we've got a frankenstein's monster we've got a werewolf did Morgan introduce Succubus to Japan? Probably not, but I could definitely see her being like a a big a big point for that sort of thing. And then you know we've also got Bishamon and Felicia who are a bit more um, a bit more loose with it and everything. 
But it's just very interesting to think because once I read that and learned that little bit about the universal dark universe stuff, I was like, yeah, that checks out. Because like half of these guys are like universal monsters. <laughs> um, and they were able to do a lot more with the gameplay as well. They were able, well, there's, that's a delightful image right there. I just included that one because I thought it was funny, to be honest with you. Taking from, ta building off of like Street Fighter 2's general stuff with, you know, special moves, blocking, comboing, whatnot. They were able to come up with like, like um, dashing forward and backwards so you can get a good old boost of speed. Aerial guarding was a big deal. Guard cancels. This game series gets very, very in-depth the more the, the more and more they go on. There are so many mechanics by the time we get to VSAV. It is absurd. Um, Haruo Murata himself, one of the planners of the game, he said that they really wanted to make a game that anybody could enjoy, even if it was clear they weren't going to win the match, which is why everything is so, like, exciting and well animated and over the top so that way even players who are just getting bodied they can still at least enjoy the spectacle thank you okay that's cool they wanted to make a game that was that was high on a technical level but still fun to watch so that way everybody could enjoy it Mikuo is named after Rico Browning, the actor who played the creature of the Black Lagoon. Really? And John Talbain is named after John Talbot, the MC of the Wolfman. Yeah, that definitely tracks. That definitely tracks. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we got here? Um, yeah, there's just some more promo stuff. This whole setup is basically doing promo stuff. I don't like this drawing of Felicia, and it's a pretty- or not Felicia, Morgan. And it's a pretty prevalent thing that comes up from time to time. She- she just doesn't look like she's in the proper style, if you ask me. If you want my humblest of opinions. The official fighting game of the undead. And there's the cover of the first game. It was on a PlayStation 1 long box. It was very, very, <laughs> very early on for the PlayStation 1. So it wasn't even in a jewel case. It was on those big old chunky cardboard long boxes. Very cool. Um, that's a manga cover. I just thought it was a good drawing, so I threw that in there. And that's the back of the PS1 box. We can we can zoom enhance on this a little bit. I'm always fascinated by the long boxes because there's so few of them. And it's really cool to uh, see. <laughs> Let's see what they fit on that stuff. You have so much more space versus the regular jewel cases. Darkstalkers 1 is also quite different from the later entrants. I have learned that. Honestly, I have not played Darkstalkers 1 yet. We're going to do that tonight, so we're going to really compare and contrast as we go on. You have that one, Augersley? Nice. You, you've been able to build up your unique special meter to unleash a variety of enhanced moves and incredible super moves? That's so cool. Also, I just love the art style on on the box art here. All the character art. I believe this is Akiman art on these. They're very good. You did that! Hooray! The only own jumping flash. Don't worry, you'll get there. You'll keep finding them. I think that's it for this. Oh, there's also this one. Um, another promo piece for Night Warriors, Darkstalkers Revenge, Darkstalkers 2 to simplify it a bit, and I hate these drawings. I really don't like how they styled the characters here. Like, Donovan's a new guy, so you can cut him some slack, he seems fine, but the Felicia and Tal Bane here are so strange looking. It's a nice photo of the night sky though, I'll give him that. Um, yeah, that's the Japanese cover, I believe. Well, same thing, but you know, you know. And that's another manga cover. Okay, so that's this one done. I'm going on a slideshow thing this time around, so bear with me. Um, so in less than a year, Night Warriors Darkstalkers Revenge drops in the arcades, adding a whopping two new characters. Um, Donovan and Hisenko, or Lele, 
depending on your region. They also made the playable bosses, um, uh, Pyron and Hoitzel, the robot, they made them officially playable this time around. So that bumps the roster up to 14. God, I hate the Breath of Fire box art. Breath of Fire 3 is such a beautiful game, but Breath of Fire 1 and 2's American box art are so... Bleh. 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 Hi, Kotetsu. Welcome in. Uh, going good. We're just talking about Darkstalkers right now before we play some Darkstalkers. What else I got here? Um, oh. So yeah, um, Sega Saturn Magazine, a European official Sega magazine, uh, saw this guy. They reviewed it in their May 1996 issue. They gave it a 91%. They were really, really, really jazzed at A, just how excellent the animations are with the updated hardware, B, the near-perfect translation from arcade to console, and just how good the game is, you know. They were very, very thrilled with this game. I was kind of surprised um, to see a sequel like that take up take up so much, so much fame, so much notoriety. Because not a lot of people really. I don't think too many people were big into Vampire Hunter. At least, um, definitely not nowadays. Vampire Savior is the go-to. Um, yeah, they're different enough that you've seen the separate competitive games, and we'll we'll talk a little bit about more of that in a second. I think that was it for this one, yeah. So, yeah, Darkstalkers 2, aka Night Warriors, Darkstalkers Revenge, aka Vampire Hunter, Darkstalkers Revenge, uh, came out, people were happy, people were excited. Then two years later, um, VSAV hits the scene. Darkstalkers 3. I talked about how I don't like this art earlier, and it bothers me that that's the art that they went with for the American cover. Because honestly, if I saw this on the shelves, I don't think I would have picked it up. This does not grab me. Like, if maybe if I flipped the back of the box over, then I would, uh, I would be a little more enthralled. <laughs> That would be wonderful. After stream is done, raid Calamarichi. I don't know if I'll be done anytime soon, and Calamarichi's been going for hours, but thank you. Thank you for telling me what to do. Americans would never like awesome Capcom art, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> so I just had to include the Japanese cover here because this slaps. This is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I would have picked this up instantly if I saw this in the bargain bin at my GameStop because I oh, I was always behind on the times when I was a little kid buying video games. Um, yeah, this time around, uh, they ditched Donovan <laughs> for some reason, and the two boss characters are no longer playable, at least in the arcade edition. Um, but they did add four more characters. BB Hood, Queen Bee, Lilith, and Jetta. Jetta, the brand new guy Jetta. Exciting and awesome and cool character Jetta. Raptor peeking in the bottom right is so funny. <laughs> yeah, Lord Raptor is good. I love BB Hood. She's very delightful. Um, though unfortunately this time around, um, even though the game had gotten even better, even faster, they've changed up the mechanics, they added the double bar system instead of the traditional like best of three rounds, you instead just have two full health bars. So to give an example, um, if you get taken out and your opponent has like half their health left over, the next round will start and you'll just stand back up, but the fight is going like nothing happened. So your opponent did not get their health back like a traditional round start. You just have two life bars and then when you're out, you're out. Though. At this point, people were feeling sort of fatigued on the fighting game franchise and how they only did so much to change the gameplay. And again, this was 1997, so um, people were really jazzed about 3D graphics at the time, and anything that wasn't 3D was just getting shit on. Except for Second Saturn Magazine, baby! They came back, they gave Morgan the cover shot in issue 32, June 1998. They gave it an eight-page spread in their magazine where they gave little blurbs about it and then every single character here um, 
has their own little showcase. And this is the home release, by the way, for Sega Saturn, which did bring back Donovan and the two boss characters. So you have the full roster of 18. But this was an insane, an insane, like, magazine find. Just seeing somebody get so, so hyped about Darkstalkers in this day and age. Yeah, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to Bite Me, because that one's a good one. That's very funny. It uses the 4 megabyte cart. They're pushing the Sega Saturn above and beyond its limits. Yeah, the magazine realized 2D was the Saturn strength. Exactly. Saturn, like, albeit it could do 3D, like, this was really where the Saturn shines, I think. Though Burning Rangers is still pretty freaking sweet and cool and awesome. You never into FGS back then, so you never realized like how many and how quickly new versions came out. I know, right? Um, so you'll be surprised to know that, like, again, within the same year of uh, <laughs> VSAV, we had Vampire Hunter 2 and Vampire Savior 2. They both came out, I believe, in September of 1997. Um, believe so. Let me double check my math here. Yes. Only a few months after the release of Vampire Savior. Um, so they basically said, hey, did you like Vampire Hunter? This one plays like this. Did you like Vampire Savior? This one plays like this. Except the Vampire Savior still has 15 characters. They just replaced Tal Bane, um, Rikuo and Sasquatch with Donovan, Hutzel, and Pyron, which, if you ask me, is inferior. That's why we're playing VSAV on Saturday and not VSAV 2. <laughs> they couldn't fit him in the memory. It's messed up. It is messed up. And after that, Darkstalkers uh, didn't make any new games. There was the occasional... There was the occasional, um, like, re-release combo packs or whatever, up until, like, recently with just the Capcom fighting pack or whatever that came out a year or two ago. We hadn't seen a lot of the Darkstalker stuff in America. However, that's not to say it wasn't a cultural phenomenon. There were still tons and tons of toys for both Western and Japanese audiences. There's a whole lovely line of cool, official, Western Darkstalkers figures here. You got Tal Bane, you got BB Hood, you got, you got Lilith. The whole crowd is here. They're wonderful, they're real. My webcam died, what the hell? When did that happen? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. When did that happen? Give me a, give me a second here. Um... I'll be right back after I after I sort this out. Okay, I'm just going to reset my 3D program. That's not a problem. Really want that BB Hood figure? She's really good. She's really good. Sig works without cam. Yes. Uh oh. The face tracker process is gone. You can try restarting. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hold on. My thing is broken. That's no good. That's no good. Thank you for the invisible head pets. I, I assure you that they are being well received. I'm feeling them in my cranium. And all is well in the world. There's art of BB Hood where she's re reloading her gun and has a bullet in her teeth, and it's so cool. That is cool. I'm, it's probably official. They they went crazy with BB Hood. They they did a really good job with her model and stuff. Oh, I, my webcam is freaking out. It's like turning on and off. My computer's gonna break. That's scary. That's scary. I wonder what's causing that. Anyway. Um, there I am. I have returned. I unplugged something in my hub, so hopefully that'll fix the problem. But that was scary. 
Um, it doesn't feel hot or anything. It's not overheating. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, anyway, toys. Toys. You guys got to look at this for, quite frankly, long enough. So here's what um, some figures from Japan look like. They're generally higher quality, but, you know, you, you can't beat the classics. You can't beat the classics here. Um, there were toys. There were manga. There were they, manga covers are really nice, too. There were Western comics by Udon, of all people, who, were, who worked with a lot of different Capcom IPs. Um, and, of course, as we all know, there were animated shows. That was a perfect time for the music to crescendo. That was totally planned. So, um, let's first take a look at... Um, if we dim the lights. The Darkstalkers opening of the of the Western show. I couldn't actually find the anime opening anywhere. Maybe it's out there and I didn't look hard enough, but you know, that's life for you. So Oh. There we go. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> I think this is a very weird opening, I have to say. He summons Dimitri, Lord of the Vampires, to launch a reign of terror, to release a plague of monsters and bring humans to their knees. But other night warriors are on the prowl. Monstrous, awesome contenders with bizarre fighting powers. Immortal creatures locked in battle to decide the fate of the world. It's enough to make your blood run cold. I I hate them so much, dude. I hate them so much. <laughs> they look so ugly. I don't understand how someone calmly expo like plot dumping all over the intro instead of having a cool kick-ass guitar riff or something is supposed to hype you up for these cool awesome characters the ending for the cartoon and the anime is trouble man mm -hmm. explains everything you need to know in like 15 minutes oh dark stalker stupidity i see i see um but yeah i don't like how this show looks i don't like how it's presented anyway here's this that i also found enjoy this People get ready. It's time for the wide world of Raptor. <laughs> my name is Raptor, and showbiz is my game. I strut my stuff and say you know my name. Help, charm, lifeguard. Never fear, I'm a pro. I know my job. And it's to party hardy, dudes! <laughs> I lost my mind the first time I saw the shark, too. It's very good. Hey, there's T-Dub. There's our ba there's our good friend T-Dub. <laughs> Fantastic. The shark is so sick. Look at that dude. He's just big chillin'. Big fan of that guy. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Hi, Tenchi. With a big tooper. That's him. That's him. That's the guy. That's the biggest tooper there ever was. My friend, my roommate found a whole album of T-Dub songs, and they're all just as good as the Mario one, let me tell you. They're delightful. Yeah, I imagine Lord Raptor was the whole, the whole entire... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a whole album. There's a whole T-Dub album. I'll post it in the Discord later. Just remind me because I've got the link. My buddy's got it at the ready. So remind me to do that later, okay? Okay? All right. So um, I've got a few more things I want to show off to you guys. This was a Japanese commercial for the game. Um, and I just thought this was very cool because they use a lot of, like, different mediums and stuff here. Like, live action. 
This badass music, Trouble Man. Beautiful, beautiful Morrigan. The Dimitri is so scary. Capcom. They love this song and he's in a lot of Darkstalkers media. That's pretty badass. And yeah, Morgan's live action and everyone else is a drawing. I think the Dimitri, the Dimitri's live action too. Look at this guy. <laughs> that's a real man. He just has really scary eyes and his hair is so tall. <laughs> So that's the, that's the Japanese trailer that I just thought was fascinating. Seeing all the different moving art pieces and everything. Very cool. He looks like he might be CG. Do you think? You think they would have had the budget for that? I don't know. I don't know. It looks like, it looks like a real guy. I think the face def, like the face obviously has some nonsense going on, but I think it is a real guy. The end, yeah, the ending one is definitely, yeah. But I think the uh, the man here, that seems real. Like, look at the hands. The hands are too detailed. Anyway, anyway, I got one more video, and this one we got some parts to jump around, and this is from our good buddies at the Capcom Friendly Club. Again, these are not subtitled, unfortunately, but we can just enjoy being in their presence. Um, so. There's Akira Yasuda, the artist, the Aki Man himself. Um, this wasn't even have to have to do with Dark Soccer's, but I just thought it was cool that we can see the man in his beautiful red hair. And he's talking. Look how messy his desk is. God, that makes me feel better about myself. He is... He's got to get it together. <laughs> I like his cardigan. He looks very cozy. He looks very kind and polite. He's a wonderful fella, and he makes absolutely incredible art. <laughs> I was just skimming through this when I was trying to find the part I wanted to show, and I liked that they showed off his um his art program here. That's from Legendary Wings. This is Aki Man. It's the turn A man. <laughs> and I thought it was very funny that they printed out his picture. And they're gonna go put it on the fridge, presumably. I'm sure that's what they said. I'm not a translator, but I'm sure that's what's going on. It was probably whiskey at his desk. A Jack and Coke, if I have to guess. Beautiful. Wow, arcade games. I have not seen his anatomy guide, though I bet I could learn a thing or two from it. Arcade games! My favorite! This is mainly just the vampire savior intro, but I still thought it was cool to show off. Just seeing everybody in motion is really good. This game is so beautiful. The Lord of Vampire. No, don't fall for Jetta's trap. <laughs> I like that they show off the uh, new characters so prevalently right there. I did look into the Pachi Slot game. There's a lot of good inform good animations there, but it's just Pachi Slot. <laughs> I really like a VSAV's um, dark whatever system we call it. So you everybody gets like special moves for the short time. That's really cool. Lilith. Queen Bee. <laughs> Why'd they have to include the fucking bust expansion in the trailer? <laughs> Out of all the people Jetta could have grabbed, they had her grab the they had him grab the one who expands her boobs. Midnight Bliss is in every game, I believe. 
You know why. Oh, oops. I forgot that's attached to my... Well, sorry. My my keys are attached to my numpad. Oops, that's silly. Hey, uh, what? Uh, there you go. That's probably where we left off. <laughs> I just wanted to make a funny face, goddammit. Yeah, Dimitri wouldn't be Dimitri if not for Midnight Bliss. And that's it for Darkstalkers, I believe. What is this? 20XX? I love that year. Oh yeah, this is like a beat-em-up game. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know if it ever came out on consoles, but it looks crazy. Battle Circuit! It looks delightful. Battle Circuit is rad? Hell yeah. Yeah, every game Dimitri's in has Midnight Bliss, so even like Zero and Alex and um, uh, the T-Rex from uh, um, Red Earth, he can and will feminize them. Yeah, it looks pretty fun for a beat-em-up. These usually aren't my speed, but uh, it looks like there's a lot going on here. Do I have a favorite character design? Hmm... That's a tough one, because everyone in Darkstalkers is so cool. <laughs> um... Like, Morgan and Lilith are iconic. It's hard to beat them. Lord Raptor's really cool. Felicia's really cool. Who's my main? Buddy, I couldn't tell ya. <laughs> I have not played this game enough. Prob I probably know how to work with Felicia more than anybody else, but... Who knows? We'll figure it out. Okay, have we had enough looking at Battle Circuit? Okay, I think so. Battle Circuit. I love the Capcom Friendly Club. I would love to gain the ability to um, translate those Capcom Friendly Clubs. So that way we could actually have subtitles and stuff on them. Maybe one day. Or I could just pay somebody to do that. That's always a that's always a possibility. But um yeah. That's what we got for our Darkstalkers today. Just little tidbits here and there. I wanted to basically just cover the whole franchise because it's just essentially updating a fighting game roster and updating mechanics here and there. So it would have been a little silly to go over each and every one individually. Um yeah, I'm glad you like the segment. Whenever we do Capcom stuff, I always start them doing these little uh, segments where we just go over reviews and behind the scenes development stuff. I think it's really fun and fascinating to get to learn and stuff. And again, we just watched that video where Akiman was just talking. And even though I couldn't understand a word he was saying, it was cool to just see him at his fucking mess of a desk going over his art and stuff. And it's just fascinating to me getting to learn about guys like that. So, um, with all that out of the way, I think we can start to play a video game, I suppose. Sounds good to me. So let's go on over and do that. Here we are, we made it. It's Capcom, baby. They're back. Hey Danny, welcome in. How are you? How's your night? Aren't you streaming soon, Danny? Aren't you doing Retro Pals tonight, Danny? Now we get to look at Darkstalkers 1. I have never played this game. I don't know how different it is from Darkstalkers 2 and 3. So I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah, in a little bit? Hell yeah. <laughs> I know by the time they got to VSAV, they added a lot more mechanics, so... We'll see how it goes. We're just gonna try to play through, uh, I guess, arcade mode and see what we can do. And then I suppose we'll move over to VSAV and then uh, we may open up uh, Fightcade for some fun there. I love the triangular Dimitri, it's very cool. He's a very silly, funny guy. Yeah, there's no chain combos in this game. That was an introduction in Night Warriors or Revengers or whatever. We've got very simple options here. Let's just go arcade mode. All right, what speed are we going with, chat? Are we going with slow, medium, or fast? One, two, or three. What's it going to be? 
Look, look at these funny little characters. This sure was a launch title. Three up. Oh, it picked. It picked for me. God damn it. Um, let's go, Felicia. Fast is best. Damn it. We're on turbo two. We'll just have to work with it. They are very cool. I I was surprised that they were animated when I hovered over them. That's a really nice touch. Okay, oh my god, I just took... These guys, these guys go down so quickly, I just did so much damage to him. Holy shit. The damage values are all over the place in this game. Uh oh. Sweet. So far, so good. She has returned to her primordial state. The rainbow found in the background is going crazy. Does she have a DP? I don't think she has a DP. Ow. Ah, holy shit, everything does so much damage. Whoa! <laughs> he tried to go for the grab! No way! Kinu Nishimura is an incredible artist. I love all of her stuff in Cannon Spike. Everything there looks really, really nice. This game just- they're just going. They're just like, we know this is an arcade game, we gotta keep moving. It's time to kill Bishamon. You got something weird going on with the left edge of my capture there? My little left edge of my capture. There's a dog. Oh. Huh. Hold on. I maybe do I have two instances of this by chance? Oops, hold on. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Welcome in, Murph, thank you. You're my eyes and my ears. <laughs> um What is that? Sure. Well, okay. We, we figured it out. We figured it out. Oh, good emo. Oof, yes. Fantastic. Anyway, we're so back. We're so back. We're gonna kill Bishamon. Oh! <laughs> Once again, Capcom killing it with the, with the background art. Look at all this fun family having a nice time in their igloo. I do wish I picked, um, that I picked number three for speed. I can already feel like this game should be faster. But we got owned. She's got a back DP? Oh, I see. I think Felicia has most of her moves from Vampire Saver in this one. Yeah, she seems to be pretty... There we go. She seems to be pretty standard fare. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. The special bar font looks so strange. It feels like it's made for like, um, for like one of those, you know, porn games. I don't know what it is about it. It has that kind of flair to it that just looks off-putting. Special. <laughs> So while playing an old version of FG, realizing there's a whole different set of awesome backgrounds, honestly. Like, the first time I played Street Fighter 3 1, the new generation, I was, like, so stunned that all the backgrounds and music were different. Oh, there he is. The Shoto. The Ryu. Ryu himself. Please do not demon cradle me. Please, I beg of you. I'm begging you not to. Oh. Oh. It's not looking hot, gamers. Oh man. Dimitri's cool moves make him the Ryu of this game. <laughs> they sure do. His bachelor pad's pretty swinging. Whoa. We can kick up sand. That's awesome. Oh. Damn it. 
Oh man, Dimitri is kicking my ass, dude. That was a good combo, though. We had a good string going. Get fucked, idiot. He's Ryu if his DP sucked. <laughs> True. Yeah, I think it's very funny that, you know, he cannot drink blood from from a man, so he has to do whatever it takes to make sure that the sustenance he's getting is uh, properly sourced. And the, so then if he, he, if he does Midnight Bliss to a girl, it, they just put on, like, an even more, or in some cases, even less scantily clad outfit. Like, Felicia is even more covered somehow, but that's how he likes it, I guess. There we go. I'm playing kind of like a fool, but I'm also just figuring out the game, so you'll have to cut me some slack. He's terrified of seeming gay. <laughs> Get better soon, dude. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I can't be gay. No, turn into a woman now. Understandable, though. Whoa, that Tal Bane sprite is crazy. Those teeth are coming at you. Dimitri's DP appears as part of Seth's moveset in Street Fighter V. Weird. Playing like a fool. What are you saying? What are you saying? Ooh, delightful music track on this stage. Oh, Tal Bane, please. Whoa, Wolf's Bar? I want to go there. We we broke the everything. Holy shit. This is 1994. Stop. Stop spamming. Oh my god, he's so low to the ground. Oh, we almost chipped him out. Ah! Holy shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, holy shit. He's a combo master. Oh, that's a that's a really good counterplay, her little dust kick up there. Ooh. Damn it, damn it. Uh oh, uh oh. Phew. We're still kicking gamers. We're still riding the quarter. If you land an EX order order, he does Dio's rise dance. Cool. I like that Seth became a jury clone in Street Fighter V, because I thought he was kind of ugly in four, But now he's become an attractive, beautiful robot woman, and I am all for that. Boing, boing. Oh, he saw it coming. No fair. Holy shit. Talbane, please. No, my quarter. Oh, man. Ow. My power is the furry of the beast. None can overcome it. Yeah, I'll show you, buddy. Whoa, look at her tail wag. Um, I'm hitting... I'm hitting every yeah. button. Beat that to cat up. Baruch, baruch, let oof. me... Let me continue. Let me play. Let me put in a quarter. It's not taking my inputs. What the hell? Well, did the game... What happened? Like, I'm hitting every button. What the... My... My controller disconnected, I guess. What a horrible time for that to happen. Bummer. Bummer! That's okay. Hold on. Give me a sec. We'll just reset the game, I guess. Because we have to anyway. How did that happen? Okay, what is this running through? Ah. Okay, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that, gamers. I need to get a better controller, too. I'm just working with, um... Okay. I'm just working with a PS4 controller that's plugged in through a USB cable. One day. Felicia's the lowest tier according to that? What the hell? 
They can't do that. They can't do that to my darling Felicia. How dare they? Um, why aren't- there you go. There you go, we're so back. That's fine. I wanted to play on speed 3 anyway, so that was just a warm-up. We might play as a different character too. And Acarus, however, is undisputedly the worst character in Savior. Hey, don't give me that. I love an Acarus. He's funny. Um, Dimitri, Talmain, Victor, Lord Raptor, Morrigan, Sasquatch, Rikuo, Bishaman, Felicia, and Acarus. Let's go Sasquatch. Fuck it. I don't know anything about how Sasquatch plays. We're going to find out. He's missing two whole mechanics. Yeah, don't worry about it. One CC or bust. Whoa. Yeah, the damage values are all over the place in this game. Oh, he cut me with his sword. Wonderful guy. Wonderful friend. Yeah, I've heard Sasquatch could be kind of OP even in V-Sav. Whoa, he cut me in twain! That dog is freaking out back there, dude. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I got distracted by the dog. Just behind Raptor, but a thousand times easier to play. <laughs> Hell yeah. Holy shit, Bishamon. Please. Take that. Oh my goodness. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Ah, damn it. Wow, we lost immediately. Oh my god, they recycled the dog for three. That's incredible. I love that dog. Hold on. I did not give Sasquatch the love he deserved. Okay. Let me try again as Sasquatch. Hype dog appears in Bishamon stage. Mm-hmm. They're his that's his friend. He loves his hype dog. I gotta figure out what else this funny friend can do. <laughs> awesome move. Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> Take that. What? Oh my god. There we go. We got him with the fingies. <laughs> I love him stamping around. He's having such a good time. Oh. Blech. Oh god, he's gonna beat my ass. Oh, oh, we almost caught back up. Sasquatch is just having fun. I don't like when he becomes just his chest. He's scary. That was such a clutch comeback, too. But we dropped it at the end there. Oh. Holy shit. Stop! Oh god. I don't think I I don't think know if I know Sasquatch yet. I'll try somebody else. We'll try somebody else. Mishima is really just the armor, that seems right. Let me try Let me try Talbane. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think Bishamon's thing is he's just the floating armor. He's a magical suit of, of whatnot. I don't like that that sword swipe cuts you in half. That's scary. Alright, how do I... How do I do your cool jet moves? There we go. Oh, Talbane is fast as fuck. Oh! <gasps> we clutched it out. Let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I really like Talbane's speed a lot. I'm going to have to remember to learn all the Japanese names proper for the tournament, too. Because a lot of them I still call by their American names, and VSAV doesn't do that. There we go. Normally, Bishamon is possessed by the armor. There's an alternate version of the character called Oboro Bishamon, where he loses the fire but gets cool new moves. I've heard of Oboro Bishamon. Isn't there, like, also a dark Talbane that does something different? I think that's I think that happens. I think that's real. I think. I don't know. Tell me more about Dark Talbane. Oh, wonderful stage. Oh I wanted to see Talbane versus Zebra Wolf. It would be the battle of the doggos <laughs> of Bark, yeah? The battle of the doggos. Oh my god. He's outranging me every step of the way. Well, <laughs> he's so scary. Whoa, who's that in the back? Whoa! <laughs> Insane move. <laughs> Just smashes the entire ground. Nuts move there. Who's that ghost? Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, he's outranging me. He's so strong. The ghost is the dead guy? Yeah, the, it flies right out of the corpse, but he is having a great time. Victor is so funky looking. I like him. Oh god. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do my cool dash. Please, Victor, please. Have mercy. Oh. No man. There he goes. Oh, holy shit. Don't scare me like that, Victor, please. Do you think Thrash could take on Felicia? Yeah, well, yes, but... She doesn't have to if she doesn't want to. <laughs> There's Dark Talbane and Savior, too. I see. Hey, Cube. Frank West is not in this game, unfortunately, though he would have many a thing to take photos of if he was. There are all sorts of creepy, spooky things going on here. He would be eating good for weeks. Whoa. Happy birthday to Captain Cube. Say happy birthday, Cube, and chat, everybody. It's a special day. You have to do it. Whoa, cool combo string. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I really like the ghost flying around. Having a great time out there. He hasn't grabbed me with his ass yet, which is pretty nice. I know he wants to, but he hasn't yet. Oh, that does so much damage. What? Come on. Oh no! Happy birthday, Woo! Captain Cube. Close. Swell to dance. Swell to dance. Close. Swell to dance. <laughs> Holy shit! Happy birthday, Cube. Hooray! Hooray for Captain Cube! Who are we fighting? An Acarus? 
I think that's who it picked. It went by so fast. Whoa. He's so funny. Why? I wonder why they picked him of all characters to put in MVC2. Was it just for like... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Wonderful. <laughs> Holy shit. We went puppy mode, you guys. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, come on, come on. Nope. I had such a strong lead. Supposed to go sicko mode, not puppy mode. Listen, it's a stressful situation, all right? You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Know when to growl and know when to turn tail. Oh, he got me with the silly grab. I wish it made the noise like it does in VSAV. That's such an important part of it, is that it goes... <laughs> it's wonderful. You'll see later, I'm sure. He's trying to range me out. <laughs> oh. <sighs> there were so many close calls there, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, we had one health left. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was a really, really close clutch call there. That was so scary. He just kept dodging all my epic moves. There he is. Whoa. Whoa, that was a big one. God, his teleporting is so scary. No! <laughs> he tricked me. I haven't really been doing too much dashing. I feel like I should uh, try to implement that a little more instead of just jumping in every time and then taking a <laughs> taking a hit because I'm trying to jump in and do an attack. You know what I mean? Whoa. Oh god, he got me with the seismic toss. Dimitri's so strong. Dash strikes are very strong options. I see, I see. He's a funny little friend, that Dimitri. Moo! Let's keep rolling with Tao Bane. I feel like I'm figuring this fella out. I'm sure there are plenty more moves I haven't looked at. I haven't looked at any, like, move sheets or anything. I've just kind of just been, uh, playing it by ear, you know? I bet the instruction manual tells you what these guys can do. Ow. Holy smokes. Oh, damn. Dimitri's tricky. <laughs> He's just like Ryu. Hi, Melty Kit. Welcome in. Nice hound. Whoa. Oh, fuck. <laughs> my head hasn't really been in this one, to be real with you. My head wasn't in that one, and that was a foolish take on my part. Oh, man. God, he's freaking out. <laughs> he is so cool moves of Ryu. Well, it's funny that I found in one of those ma magazines we looked at, they, they said that... Um, uh, 
Dimitri plays a lot like Ryu, and they showed moves that were specifically on Ryu, like like his Midnight Bliss and um, his little like spinny move stuff. But Graffy, um, who was going to be in the tournament, did really relate Dimitri to Ryu and the Shoto type characters. So I thought that was funny that even back then they were making the comparison. Oh my goodness. He's got all my he's got all my angles covered. He's so strong. He knows everything I'm going to do before I'm going to do it. Damn it. I remember when Ryu turned people into girls and drained their blood? That must have been in like Rainbow Edition or something. I missed that one. Yeah. He's like the Mario. No! Ah, damn it. I gotta dial in, gamers. I gotta really level up right now. Oh, we already lost. Oh. Dimitri's cool moves make him this game Super Mario. <laughs> Zangief does that with his full screen grab in Rainbow Edition? Scary. Scary. <laughs> He's so good at blocking. His cape is so strong. Ah! He blasted me right on my ass. Damn it. Whoa, you can see his ass. I just noticed that. You can see his ass when he gets burnt by the fire. Very funny. Very silly little friend. I should be ducking more because we're so low to the ground when we do it. Oh, the seismic toss. Aw, oh, damn it. Ah. I don't like how his fire flows like that. It's so scary. We've already found the wall. Computer players are so bullshit. They're too strong. But I have to beat this game. I have to. I have to meet Pyron and put a stop to him. Or he's gonna turn this planet into a parking lot or whatever. I don't really know what his goal is. The plot of these games are very, 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 very slim and small. But Pyron's an alien and he's come to kill us all or something. So we have to fight for the right to fight Pyron or whatever. Or whatever. Whoa. Dimitri is an input reading scrub lemmy at him. <laughs> it's messed up. That's so messed up. Oh, fuck. I looked at chat. Whoa, we went through him. I didn't know we could do that. Ah, I put myself in the corner. Pyron's goal is to have a million frames of animation in his idol and have sick music. Well, I'm sure he'll do great at that. Bow! <sighs> Alright, time to get my head in the game. We've drawn first blood. Spectacular moment from yours truly. I'm just taking a much more defensive, defensive stance right now. And so far it seems to be working fairly well. Ah, I'm so bad at doing the half circle that it wants, that it wants from you. Ooh. Ooh. 
damn it. <laughs> you read me like a book there. What? What? Wake up, DP? No way. Computer can't do that. Whoa, the girls in the background were breaking it down. <laughs> Holy shit. I was coming back and he hit me with a wake up DP. That's insane. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. We got a round off him, let's go. We got a round off. We did a backflip. We're having a great time. Why has he got that bat in a cage? What'd it do? Do you think it's a troublemaker? Oh, bad crimes, I see. God, that DP's crazy. Pushing buttons, I can tell. Hashtag BRW is a zone huh? input reading. You're reading my inputs, Thrash, are you cheating? Oh, uh oh. Damn it. I completely dropped the ball there. I was completely out of it. This vampire man, this luxurious vampire man who refuses to midnight bliss me deserves all of my attention right now. Though he should be midnight blissing me a little more if you ask me. SSM my greatest foe. Yeah, my my um uh, my text-to-speech stuff does not have any fancy bells or whistles or anything on it. What? No, he's gotta have Midnight Bliss. He's gotta. How's he gonna eat, then? Damn it. Need a vampire to Midnight Bliss me. <laughs> It always feels so bad when they get you with a counter. Stop! You're spamming! Ah, damn it. Any vampires with Midnight Bliss in chat? Speak up now. Speak up, please, 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 please. Hi, Terry. Welcome in. How's it going? We're already halfway through the roster, so we have to beat all these bad guys. This is Force Femme Special Raid. It sure is. It's his ultimate ability. Oh, you don't know about Midnight Bliss, Fontaine? That's tragic. It's the real reason anybody plays Dimitri. They'll try to tell you it's not, but... Oh, I... What happened? <laughs> okay, no more... No more looking at chat. You guys talk amongst yourselves for a minute, okay? I'm gonna be over here. Damn it. What the fuck? He linked all of his strongest moves. The only game you played with Dimitri was was SVC Chaos. That's good. <laughs> yeah, he turns him into a sexy lady and then eats him. He goes. <laughs> so it's got a lot of lot of wonderful sprite edits. And if he does it to a lady, that they just get like some sort of nice outfit or whatever, which is quite funny.
Damn it, how did I miss that kick? I was right on top of him and it missed somehow. He could get that DP out so fast. I really like his aura. The sprites that they did to make him so bright and colorful are really cool. Would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Werewolf, obviously. There are so many like inhibiting factors to being a vampire. Sure, you've got like the monthly, you got your time of the month or whatever if you're a, if you're a werewolf, but um, you can otherwise act pretty normal, I think. Damn it. Vampires have so many weaknesses. They're immortal except for all these things that kill you. Then you have a list bigger than Santa Claus's naughty list. I have a feeling that this guy is cheating. He just might be. They have to make sure they eat all my quarters. They have to make sure the arcade stays alive and well. You would steal all my dog food though. No, Thrash. I would never. I would never do something so vile. Maybe I would. But don't tell her that. Damn it. How do I get in against this man? He read my dash in perfectly. What the hell? That's something only a computer could do. <laughs> What's so sussy, huh? What's the matter? Ah, he's got me in the corner. Holy shit. Okay, we got a match. We got a round. We got a game. We got a game on us. Oh no, not the power bomb. What? That ate my special, no fair. No! Damn it! <laughs> I think... I think you, it has to be a bullet because it has to, like, penetrate them. If you want to shoot them with a, stil a silver bullet. Otherwise, it's just, like, fine. Maybe it irritates their skin or something, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna really do damage unless it's on the inside. Or so they tell me. Damn it. He's kicking my ass. Aww. His DP game is so good. It's easier to break a thermometer on werewolves. That's scary. You want to melt them with mercury? I was gonna make it over that. No. <sighs> Thank you for the hydrate, Tenchi. And a vampire is for. A vampire can only enter your house if you invited them, and they're forced to count grains of beans or rice or peanuts whenever he sees them. <laughs> yeah, being a vampire sounds like it sucks. Was there ever a moment in Twilight where um, Belle, like, spilled her bag of beans and then Edward had to painstakingly, like, count them all out? That would have been good. 
Ah, Just out of reach. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, his ass! Twilight the beaning. She went, this is MF for counting beans, and she dumped him. Then she joined team, um, other guy, Jacob. Damn it. This one's not going super well. Thinking about them beans. Team Shark Boy, yeah. She wanted to become his lava girl. She wanted to fill his dark heart with light. Oh my god, we're free! We're free! We've defeated the big nasty vampire! Hallelujah. Some vampire movie, those trashy sea movies, but it had fun scene with the vampires counting the beans almost at light speed. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, wonderful. This stage is in the three, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I recognize the tune. Okay, she's a spammer. She's a spammer. I've learned that about Morrigan. <laughs> I love her little dance. Great character. I love that she has, like, rocket boots. She's got thrusters going on. Ideal succubus design. Whoa! Oh, she grabbed my ass. She's the original hover dasher. That's her special move. Surely no one will be difficult again. That'd be impossible. I love her twirling her hair and her little sprite there. These sprites are awesome. They have so much personality in them. Both like the big character piece on the bottom and the player select one. Hey Genie, welcome in. How's it going? Oh god, oh god. She's spamming again. No! We'd never have Eno without her. That's true. Darkstalkers had to do a lot for fighting games. Like, it's crazy that um the same people that made Street Fighter 2 that like really changed the game for the sort of thing also made Darkstalkers, which has really built on those formulas in such cool ways. Damn it. Get out of the sky, you. No. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> oh no, the music natu doesn't naturally loop. That's so sad. Huge, huge design flaw. Damn it. Ah. Uh, 
Midnight Pleasures on the input list instead of being a demon? Dimitri doesn't have Midnight Bless until Visa. Have. Damn. I guess that makes sense because there really aren't like there aren't like super moves in this game. Your special bar just sort of powers up one of your regular moves. So that makes sense. But still, though, he could be putting in the work. What was she doing? <laughs> she was like back dashing into the wall. Ow. Oh. She covers all her bases. I try to jump to get out of the way of her shot, and then she just hits me with a counterplay. Damn it. It's so hard to get in against her. If only we had a fireball of our own. Ugh. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Be nice. Be nice, Morgan. Damn. Uh, she knows her spacing too well. There's some supers in that most characters have only like one. Oh, interesting. I haven't figured out what his is then. I'm assuming it's like a double quarter circle situation, probably. So maybe I should try to figure that out. Or I guess in his case, a double half circle, but... There we go. We got a lot of corner pressure there. That was good. That was good. The mix-ups were hitting. She didn't know what hit her. Ready. Oh no. She's putting us... She's putting us through the ringer. Oh, uh oh. Ah, man. We almost had her. Half circle back and medium heavy kick is his command grab. I see. Uh oh. Got us. She's got us. No. No. Damn it. I should get a. I really should get a better controller for fighting games and stuff. I don't really like using um, uh, fight sticks and stuff. I've tried them before and it just really doesn't feel natural to me. But I don't know if I like the PS4 controller for it very much either. I don't know what would be my ideal. Maybe something like like that replicates the Sega Saturn. I really like how that controller feels. Six face buttons and then the two shoulder buttons too. Um, that feels like it could be good. That might do me well. That controller just feels good to hold. Ah, oh! We're still- no, nah, We got chipped. Yeah, Sega Saturn is really nice. There's probably like a USB situation you can get for that. Or like an 8-bit do situation or whatever. Oh. Damn it. There's both. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> Sega Genesis or Saturn Control has worked on like the PC engine or something? Huh. 
Some of the inputs in this first game were weird. A bunch of these have changed. Are you looking up all the controls right now? <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting, like, comparing this to VSAV. Like, it... it visually, it looks very similar, but it definitely plays differently. It's still got that really fast-paced action going, which I am all for. I love when a fighting game just has insane pacing. The matches are over so quickly, it's really fun. The damage really is so high. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not just me. It's just a hard game, and the, the computers definitely don't play around. Okay, my heart wasn't in that one. I'll be real with you. My heart wasn't there in that one. Her air fireball, all you, you threw a motion from up to forward, which is so weird. That is bizarre. So hard to even build a super bar without killing them. <laughs> you just gotta hope that they start to block. Stop. Stop with the anti-airs, please. Ah, oh, man. An upside down court. Yeah, eight, eight, nine, six. That's strange. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You're already jumping anyway, so just, like, round out that circle. No, oh, get back in the corner. Get back over there. Damn it. Oh! I didn't realize I had life left. <laughs> A lot of characters have six three twos. The good old backwards quarter circle, baby. You always gotta keep them guessing. You never know what's gonna happen next. But I'm committed to Tao Bane now. I'm committed to beating Pyron with Tao Bane, so bear with me. Ow. Damn it. God damn it. She can get her moves out so fast after her fireball. <laughs> She's always ready for everything. I think I got the one up on her, but she counterplays instantly. you dash in i double tapped i promise i promise i double tapped there and he just didn't listen poor guy Burrow! delighted that he howls at the moon every single time No. No, oh, damn it. My health bar was drained before I knew it. I thought I was riding so high, but then I had like one pip of health left. God, that DP combo does like half your health bar, dude. <laughs> She's insane with it. But she's beautiful, so she can get away with it. 
Let that be a lesson to all of you, okay? Do you think that's Morgan's house with the Castlevania Dracula castle on the corner there? Does she live here? Ah, man. She probably plays Rent to Drag. <laughs> nah, I don't see her paying for anything ever. That's sort of her shtick. Oh, God, the grab. No way. If there's one thing you can say about Castlevania, Drac, he is no simp. True. He hates women. Except for his wife. But she's gone now, so... What else, What are we left with, huh? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my goodness, did you see my health bar just drop? How unfortunate. Ah! I almost brought it back too. Damn it. It sucks that my quote-unquote fireball is my whole body, so I'll never win any of those trades. Poor Talbane. It's hard being a puppy in this fucked up world. You know a thing or two about that, yeah? She'd know a thing or two about that. Oh my god, that hitbox lingers for so long. I'm so EP sometimes. Just sometimes? Did you not get enough sleep last night? Did you not charge your batteries? What were you up doing up so late, huh? Oh. No! Oh, the range on that's crazy. Quit giggling at me. Bear a thumbing reading of Berserk. Oh, you like that? You like that one? I haven't read that one. Tell me about it. Does uh does he win at the end? Oh man. Does Mr. Big Guts win at the end? Does he get the prize? I hope so. <laughs> Scotland, huh? She's Scottish? That's what you're leading me to believe? Damn it. <laughs> no! No, the creator died before it was finished. Oh. Damn. 
No, but his like his best friend is gonna finish it for him or whatever. He knows how it ends and he, they're gonna finish it, okay? He laid down the groundworks and said, I trust you, buddy. Her name is Morrigan? Yeah? My name's G-Pool. Oh my goodness! That DP goes crazy! <laughs> Unbelievable. That was her letting out her Scottish anger at me after I found out that she was Scottish. Tragic. Damn it. She's covering all my bases. She's got all the angles figured out. What? I... I swear, sometimes my inputs just miss in this game. I was so confused why I just walked forward into my demise there. Same old dog. No dog day. <laughs> True. No! Oh, her dash goes crazy, dude. Guys, this is hard. I don't know if you picked up on that, but this game's hard. <laughs> this game is not for the faint of heart. The CPUs, and we're only halfway through the CPUs. We haven't even seen the outrageous boss characters. That's scary. <laughs> Thank goodness I blocked that. That would have been the end of me. Well, that was the end of me either way, so, you know. It is what it is. It's hard to be mad at her when she gets so happy like that, you know? God, she's got my whole number! What the fuck? She knows exactly when to block low and to block high. She's invincible! No, oh, man. Sit on your throne of lies, why don't you? Ma'am. And here I thought Dimitri was the was the wall to get past. Morgan's right behind him. God. <laughs> You don't know that. Those bats could be made of anything. They could be full of sin for all you know. What? What was that? <laughs> that scared me. What'd she do? The sin of lying. Exactly. Exactly. She did the zip zam zoom. I had such a lead. I had such a lead. No! My head! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, It's like she actually did that to me for real. I can feel the pain in my whole body.
That's life, I guess. Life is suffering. Or whatever. No, don't. I was gonna be really mad. I had a really good lead on her and she started to fight back so hard. Life is being a wolf and getting beat up by a hot Scottish woman. That's true. We should be more into that lifestyle, I think. We should be more more welcoming for that sort of thing. How did she get a DP out in between those moves? She's crazy. She's cracked. No. Oh, my whole spirit was shattered when she DP'd me there. I was riding such a big high, and then she pulled the plug right out of my inner tube, and I started to fall, 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 fall. That is the meaning of life. Hi, Red Oni. Welcome in. Have you been beaten up by a hot Scottish demon lately? Oh, fuck. Holy, holy shit. No, no. Stop spamming. Hi, friendly cat. Welcome in. Thank you. We've actually had this model since October, but I alternate through my different ones, so I understand if you hadn't seen it until now. But welcome in. Ah, fuck. She got me with the special upper. No fair. It was over. If she hits the special DP, then it's over. That does so much damage. This game is crazy. I'm almost afraid to say it's too fast. I won't because I'm not a coward, but... It's very fast. This game demands so much precision from you. Damn it! Not a stop. For anybody who's tuning in right now, I'm trying to beat the arcade mode of Darkstalkers One, the first in the franchise. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, friendly cat. I hope whatever's ailing you um, gets better soon. Unlike Talbane, Talbane's suffering right now. You love this game? Hell yeah. It's definitely got style and flourish. I just wish the uh, the CPUs would uh, take it a little easier, you know? Because <laughs> they are very good at reading my mind. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. Shit. All difficult CPUs are never fun. They read inputs super hard. They sure do. But I have to beat Pyron and save the planet or whatever. Ow. 
Holy shit, she's all over the place. Just, just so much backdashing. Ah, I, that was my own fault. I just jumped into that. Damn it. <laughs> uh-huh. The DP, especially if she has her special bar full, it'll do like a half your health bar if it lands. It is brutal. The damage values are all over the place in this game. Bow! Ooh. Holy sh stop. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. This is a Wendy's. God damn it. Fuck. There's so many monster maws in the background. Spamming! She's spamming! No! <laughs> Fuck, dude. Alright. Let's run it back. Yeah, for Capcom to re-release these games with online, so you can play them with other super expert. Uh, do does the collection not have online play? I I would have figured that if they put out that Darkstalkers collection, that there would be online play on that. Maybe not, but that just seems to be like the uh, the trend for these sort of re-releases. Damn it. She's she's like a worm. She's so slimy and hard to grab onto. Ah. I can barely keep up with her. Damn it. I was starting to make a bit of a comeback. Oh yeah, she's a wonderful character. I really like the way that she like rocket dashes forward and backwards. It's so cool and unique. And this is basically like the fighting game that invented air dashing, so the fact that they have different like styles for it is really cool. Stop. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, right, I'm, I'm getting the gamer's hunch, gamers. I'm going to dial in real good this time, I promise you. Damn it. I knew it wouldn't be easy to go through the CPU mode, but holy shit. <laughs> they do not play around. If you were, if you had this game on the PlayStation 1 as a little sweet baby baba, you'd be getting hours and hours of enriching entertainment because you wouldn't make it past level 5. <laughs> Damn it. Damn 
Oh my goodness, the DP counter. Ah, she's too strong. She knows all my moves before I'm going to do them. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I got chipped. <sighs> Come on, Talbane. Me and you, buddy. Me and you. I'm going to give you such a good uh, head pat. I'm going to get you scritches behind the ears if we pull this off. And you're going to be having such a wonderful time. I promise. I promise. Ow. Good start. Damn it. Oh, our combo game's insane. <laughs> What the hell? Goodness gracious. Her drills are too strong. I didn't even know she had drills until now. Damn it. She she's ducking me. She's ducking me. She's going over me. She knows all. She's going all around the world in 80 days and I can't believe it. Ah. Oh no, the DP, the special DP, it sealed my fate. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys having fun? You have to tell me, you have to legally tell me if whether plus one or plus two or whatever. You have to tell me. I need your support now more than ever. I'm holding up for the spirit bomb to pass the Colorado bar exam. And I need all the energy of everybody in chat. Whoa. Damn it. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. ah, the get up DP kills me. How could you? God, I cannot hit my fang, my wolf fang fist. She's spamming, please. Ah, oh, man. Scared of how hard the rest of the characters will get? Yeah, it's terrifying. There's like half the roster left still, and boss characters. And you know they're not gonna be playing fair. Sasquatch will destroy me in, with one lift of his little finger. I'll just get crushed into dust immediately. All right, 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 all right. 
Right, all right, all right, all right. Darkstalkers with online, hell yeah. You gotta go online and play with all your besties. What the? How did she get out of hit stun so fast? This game's crazy. Oh, damn it. No. Please, give me strength. Give me the power. Let me go above and beyond. Please just let me hit my special move. I'm so bad at doing half circles. No. Oh. Oh, man. I was riding so high. <laughs> they had the Darkstalkers collection with rollback on PS3. Really? I knew about Dark Resurrection. I didn't know it had rollback all the way back then. That's crazy. Those truly were better days. Oh, please, please, just a crumb, just a crumb of combo, please. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> ah, man. God damn it, I forgot that's what that move does. Oh, she cut my head off. Do you have any advice for organizing something like that? If you have VTuber has got something similar, you don't think you know enough VTubers to do a VTuber tournament, but you're not thinking enough fighting players to do something. Um, you just gotta ask, honestly. Um, when I got the idea to start doing tournaments, I, um,. I just said, hey, uh, do you guys, you guys like Third Strike? What if we, what if we did something cool and had like a, had a whole tournament on stream for it? It started out as with just eight people for Street Fighter Three, Third Strike, and then like, ever since because I've met more and more people down the line, they always get bigger and bigger. So we've had sixteen tuber tournaments bi monthly since like September. Damn, she got my ass. So the best thing you can do is just um, keep in mind all the work that goes into say, setting up something like this, hosting, commentating, all that stuff, making sure everybody's on the right page and everything, and actually just reaching out to people that you think might be interested. Damn it. Okay. Well, now that I've given my pep top, I can focus on the game again. <laughs> That was a bit of a that was a bit of a mental break for me right there. She thrashed my ass a little bit, but I really didn't have my heart into it because I wanted to talk about the tournaments and whatnot. Oh, that was also Iron Galaxy. I guess that makes sense. I have a third strike on PS3, but I never ever took it online because I've just never really been much of an online gamer. Oh my god. She filled her special bar instantly and then crushed me. Online scary. It's just like I don't really have much of a uh, much interest in playing strangers, so online games never really did much for me. Two drugs having sex. Two drugs having sex. My muscles. Yeah. My muscles. What about voluntary flex? What? Is that what you're into, Thrash? You're strange. I hope you know that. <laughs> alright, alright, we got a chance. We're back in there, gamers. You said when Darkstalkers won in this game. Ah, it's not me. It's not just me, I promise you. I told you, it's not just me. This game's fucked up. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah! <sighs> it's fucked up, but it's very funny. It's brutal in a way that only older games can be. Yeah, for sure. But just like, for being the first in its series, and for how much they wanted to separate it from Street Fighter, they really did do a good job on that regard. Because this is very different from Street Fighter 2. Ooh. Damn it. It is absurd how fastly she can counter out of her fireball. Isn't there a Frankenstein in the series who uses his ass as a special move? Yeah, he grabs you with it. <laughs> he grabs you with it and he doesn't let go. Guys, I really want to conquer this game, okay? I appreciate you all sticking it out with me and cheering for me and donating your energy so I can rise to the top of Darkstalkers 1. <laughs> it's part of my Capcom conquest, after all. We have to stream like every Capcom game. That's the rules. Damn it. Damn, she got perfect on me. Fuck. Unbelievable. Just when I thought I was starting to understand her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah. <laughs> this time for sure. This time we got her. We got her number. No, my poor beast man, my poor werewolf buddy. We're still in it, we're still in it, we're still in it, we're still in it. We're still in it. Damn it. <laughs> oh there was a spark of hope for a second. We were able to get in there and actually do a semblance of a combo. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Bow. Whoa. Twenty-two years. Twenty-two. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-two. Hey, Goober God six nine. Thank you for the twenty-two years of subscription. Welcome in, gamer. This game's fucked up. This is Darkstalkers one. It's very strange, and the computer player does not mess around. Fuck. 
The damage values are all over the place, dude. <laughs> Damn it. Rats! It's not fair that she can be so talented and beautiful. Soul Fist lives in your brain more than Storms. Ha! <laughs> she loves announcing that to the world. She's a big fan. She's a big fan of her Soul Flame. Or her Soul Fist. <laughs> Ready. Nope. Get back in the corner. Get back in the corner. Woo! 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 That was scary. <laughs> now we just gotta do it again. for all the beans in the can. Dimitri's gonna be counting all of them after this. Chip damage. Damn it. <laughs> God, I'm terrified of what the next enemy is going to be like. When we beat Felicia or Morgan, what's the next one going to be? The Crosscut DP. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Damn it. Chipped again. Poor Talbane. Ah, oh, man. My hands need a break. <laughs> My hands just need a little bit of a rest. We got all we got all, all the time in the world for all these pea pods to line up. All right, we're back in it. We're back in it, baby. Talbane, I believe in you. And all of your puppy power. You would never do anything to wrong me. And I'm so thankful for that. Ah, 
god, man. <sighs> I'm really bad at hitting his, uh, his charges. Damn it. Whoa! Damn. Thank you, Taro. With your help, with your belief, with your prayers to Big J Man up in the sky, I can make this happen. Just like my hero, Mr. Satan. He yelled at everybody to put their hands in the air and to wave them like they just don't care. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's get some blues in chat, why don't we? Let's get some blues in chat, some swelty two blues. That'll give me the strength that I need. Ah, so close. Ah. I hate that move she does, that big scythe kick. It's so hard to beat when you're getting in. But she can do it, like, immediately after she does her fireball, so... It's impossible to get in there when she decides to bring it out. Ah, man. <sighs> Thank you for the blues. Save us with your fabulous mustache. Please, Mr. Satan, make Dragon Ball Daima good. Please, I'm begging you. I begging you. It's crazy how every single time, like, Toei Animation or Toei whatever will post anything on their social medias, you'll just see the- you'll just see the comments covered in Animate More Dragon Ball Super! What are you guys doing? We want Goku vs. Moro! You stupid idiots! Digimon! One Piece! Uh, the Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest... Magical girls. No! Goku! Goku, 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 Goku! We gotta have Goku. How dare you do anything else that isn't Goku. No, we don't want Dragon Ball Daima. We don't want little kid Goku. We want Goku, Goku. What's wrong with you? It's messed up. Damn it. She countered me. Ah, where is Moro Arc? <laughs> no, you should play your. You should play the games you want to play. I think that's important. Where is Moro Arc? It's gotta come out. I need to see that funny old goat man revert into a very generic-looking Dragon Ball Z character. <laughs> Goodness gracious. She's freaking out. She's freaking out. She's got the zoobies. Damn. Has the mojo oil. Oh, here you go. Ouch. Was that good? Was it that good? Was it that good? Stan fact she's gonna mob. She's about to morb. Oh, she's morbing. Morbing out of her goddamn mind right now. Ah, man. Moro is just not Janemba, honestly. Like, I like the idea behind him, but when he goes into... He, like, reverts to his primal form or 
young form or whatever. He just looks so generic. I you hate did it. not stand back. I did not. I had to get in there. I had to get in. Whoa. Ah, her blocking was too good. Like Moro's final form looks like in WoW at a downgrade. I'm saying, I'm saying, he has this such this this cool goat man demeanor, unlike anything else, and he looks really cool. And then they just made him look like just like a knockoff of Perfect Cell or something. Whoa! Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> Mora with the beard is peak. I agree. Like, they did something good coming up with that original design and everything. But then they just made him look so lame. <laughs> he doesn't look very fun. We love Morrigan in this house. We all stand Morrigan. We stay in a woman who can beat our ace. Good start. It might seem crazy wearing stripes and the plaid at Instagram every meal I've had all my used liquor bottles are on display. We can go to see a show, but I'll make you pay wear my belt with suspenders and sandals with my socks because I'm tacky. Got some new glitter Uggs and a lovely pink sequin in the Clorox <sighs> because I'm tacky. Never let you forget some favor I did for you because I'm tacky. If you were okay with that, then you might just be tacky too. Hell yeah, Thrash. Maybe you should do the talking for a little while so I can just dial in here. Thrash, can you tell me more about Moro from Dragon Ball, please? Who's your favorite Dragon Ball character? Mine's PyCon. I think PyCon's really cool. I really like the other world tournament arc. It's fascinating. I like Tien. Mmm, good choice. Ah, man. I like Tien too. He's fun. His whole arc in the original Dragon Ball is really like scary. And I hate the Great Saiyan Man. What? I like the Great Saiyan Man. That's like, that's a, such a pivotal point for Gohan as an adult or young man or whatever. The fact that he's got to be a funny superhero to protect his identity, and he takes off. He takes after his friends from the Ginyu Force. <laughs> All those early Boo episodes with the Great Saiyan Man are really fun, though. Seeing Gohan and Videl just have a lot of moments together is really cool. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that whole... All of the tournament arcs in original Dragon Ball are really, really cool. Like, there's always so much on the line. TN's learning more about himself. Master Roshi's doing what he can to help him out. Literally throwing the fight just so he can learn a thing or two from Goku. I think that's really cool. There we go, baby. Oof.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man. I think Vegeta and Piccolo get more interesting story development. Understandable. Dragon Ball Z definitely le leans more into the other characters, which I think is cool. But again, just every single tournament arc in the original Dragon Ball is full of really cool events and stuff. Like, Goku versus Jackie Chun in the first tournament is nuts. Because it's there's so much on the line for Master Roshi. He's gotta show Goku that there's that there's tougher enemies out there. And it's really cool. Meanwhile, Goku's just doing his best. He blew up the damn moon. Ah. Ooh. DB tournament arcs are where it's at. I agree. Which is why the opening of the Boo Saga is so cool, because they bring it back. They bring back the World Martial Arts Tournament. You know, obviously nobody stands a chance at all against our friends, but it's still cool to see them all there. And plus you get to meet Spopovich and the other guy. You know. Spopovich's friend. Poor Videl. She had a match against a literal immortal man. This is kind of like Videl versus Spopovich right now, actually, now that I think about it. Hi, new and tasty. Welcome in. How's it going? Get ready for a lot of rematches against the computer. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Oof. Her linking game is so good. Damn it. Chipped again. Poor Talbane. Ugh. And yet his confidence never wanes. It's so impressive and cool of him. Talbane, my number one oomphy. Let's get it, little buddy. You like Tal Bane? I just kind of like picked him on a whim, but I think his um his dashing mechanics are fun. Unfortunately, I can't really do them too often against Morrigan because she just counters with a fireball, which is a unfortunate situation to be in. Do not chip me out, thank you. <laughs> that was really scary. I love his finger wag. It's so funny. Ah, man. <sighs> you love him? Hell yeah. Congratulations. I hope the wedding goes well. Damn it. Her air dash. It's supreme. Damn it. Man. These CPUs 
don't play around. I imagine this is a pretty straight translation from the arcade machines, too. Like, this is just straight up, here you go, have fun, pay up, here comes all the quarters in the world, baby. <gasps> oh, baby! Clutch play. Clutch dash there. That was scary. Damn it. If she blocks if she blocks my dash there, she's always gonna counter me with that move. That low blow. Damn it. Ah. Her anti air is nuts. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> I don't even know how long we've been on this one fight in particular, but we're only halfway through the damn bracket. <laughs> I promise I'm good at fighting games. I promise. I'm gonna be a different color, Talbane. Maybe that's the trick we need. I've been red pants for too long. We gotta mix it up. We need a uh, yellow pants? Blue pants. Okay. Change of clothes did not seem to change much. Damn it. God, I hate when she dashes so much. It's so hard to read her. Damn. She got me good. The Hulk purple pants. Talbane loves his purple pants. They make him feel special. Are there any other colors than just the two? It seems like we've only got the red and the blue pants. Oh, her anti air was at the ready. Damn it. I feel like I'm losing my touch. I feel like whatever um, whatever strengths I had at the beginning of this are just depleting now. I'm running on fumes. My energy is wearing thin. Morgan is just so strong. My focus is diminishing minute by minute.
damn it. She had every angle covered. Ah! Oh, Talbane, please help me. Help me, I'm dying. I'm in agony. You you may have noticed I am quite stubborn headed at times. You may have noticed I have this sort of ability where I'll just bash my head at the wall until I do the thing. I don't know if it's a good mentality to have all the time, but it's certainly the one I find myself taking more often than not. Ah! She's just in my head right now. She's using her succubus ways to get one over on me. You have to be strong, Talbane. Damn it. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna try it just like one or two more times, and if that doesn't work, then I'm putting a pin in Darkstalkers 1 because I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind over here. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I feel like I'm just like losing focus now. My eyes are getting tired and this computer is too strong. This computer is too powerful. Oh no, we'll have to add a Hagar to the stream tag. What are you talking about, little lady? What? That's messed up. Damn it. Damn it. She's mind breaking you and she hasn't even taken her clothes off. I think that's a succubus's job, I think. 
So she's doing a pretty dang good job at it. Tee hee hee hee. Thrash, can you like sing me a song or something? I need to uh I need to dial in right now. Thanks. Thanks. Good song. Whoa, Blues! Welcome in, Raiders! Welcome in! I was about to give up fighting the CPU because I've been getting my ass handed to me, but now that new friends are here, I suddenly feel reinvigorated and stronger than ever before. This is the power of friendship at work here, everybody. Check it. Check it! Welcome in! Welcome in! How was Pokemon? How'd it go, everybody? Hi, I'm G-Pool. You probably already know me. Um, we're playing Darkstalkers 1, and it's got some insanely brutal um, <laughs> uh, CPUs to fight in this game. We're like halfway through the roster, and we've already hit such unpenetrable walls. But now that my good friend RG Blues is here, I have to do my best. Ah, damn it! Oh man. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I hope Pokemon was fun. Thank you for the raid, Blues. I appreciate it. Rogue Emerald is one of the coolest Pokemon-related things you've played in a while. Nice. I hope. Uh. Are you gonna keep going at it, or did you uh, party wipe or anything like that? If it, I'm assuming if it's a roguelike, then there's pretty finite um, fail conditions for you there. But it looked like it was fun. It looked pretty neat from what I saw. My smile is stuck. I cannot <laughs> go back to your foreign land. My spirit is made up of the ocean and the sky. And the sun and the moon and all my eyes can see I cannot go back to your land of gloom Where black jack of the shadows remind me of the coming of your doom So true thrash so true you super lost that fourth gem and your heart was broken you lost a very good boy No, that's the that's the peril of a uh, roguelikes But I'm glad that you had fun Oh god. She's in the corner and she's still beating my ass. How is that? <laughs> How is that? Activating water sprinkler. What the? Damn it. Very cool. A little slow on the draw there, Thrash, but I'm sure you're getting the job done. I'm sure the garden is looking lovely thanks to you. I love her twirling her hand. Have you seen? I, I I know it goes by really really fast, but have you seen these sprites on that menu screen? It's wonderful. Oh my god, her combo game is insane. Ah, she pricked me. T T T T T T T. Well, she's got to take a breath. That's a lot of work. Stop. 
I hate when she backs her ass into me like that. Don't do that, ma'am, please. And yeah, we've been at this for a lot longer than you would think. I'll say that much. I'll say that much. Burn! But I have to know Tal Bane's ultimate truth, or whatever. Nobody is, has a more powerful ass than Victor. That's true. That's true. I don't see Morgan putting up the ass work like Victor does. Damn, she knows exactly when I'm going low. Damn, holy shit. She's got my number, gamers. Hi, Higa. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Damn it. Ah, the wake up DP. Ah, we are coming back. Two entire loaves of bread looking to clap ya. Amen. Yeah, this game, this is a very beautiful game. It came out in 94, too. It's very impressive. Like, yeah, just look at all these cute little guys. They're delightful. I've started with Tal Bane, though, and it would feel cursed to change from Tal Bane at this point. The Fishman, Albaith, or Rikuo, or whatever. A very fun friend. Damn it. Her mix-ups with the backdash forward dash are so hard to read, and then she DPs me! Fuck! Sasqu Sasquatch is really fun. I couldn't really get the hang of him, but I think he's cool. He's a very funny guy. Damn it. Oh! The frame perfect. How could you? Yeah, the CPUs do not play around in this. It is brutal. And this is only like round five or six. Five? Five. I'm terrified to think of what the person after Morgan is going to be like. If we can even defeat her, but look at how she shredded my life bar just then. Damn it. <laughs> Putting the cat is giving me moral support. Hooray. Oh. Ah, damn it. Go on an epic quest for food, okay? Have some good eats, all right? I'm sure I'll still be going when you get back. Surely. Foob. Please, foob. Just a little bit. Just a teensy weensy crumb. I would have been chipped either way. 
I had to make a daring play. There was so little, there were so few options out of that. Damn it. Ah, her strength is undeniable, gamers. But Tal Bane, he's strong, he's tall, he's cool, he's hairy. If anybody can do it, it's him. Yeah, I think I've hit every button to choose a character now, so it is just like the two colors in this game, which is fine, you know. It was an early fighting game. Oh my god, her deadliest combo. How did I bring that back? Holy shit! Oh man, I don't know how we managed. Bane, you got this. No! No! I was trying to be so defensive there. We were so close. Ow! Ow! Oh. Her space control is bonkers. It really is. They trained the CPU to be way too good. And just the way, like, everything links together is very strange, unlike a lot of other fighting games. So it's very hard to, like, feel out when you can go in for a good combo or not. She's also just impeccable at blocking, too, and counterplaying like that. Kyrick.
Ah, damn it. You're losing your mind over dynamite? I see. Jesus Christ. Insane combos that she's putting out. No. <laughs> huh. Bow. Bow wow. <sighs> Just taking a breather for a second. <laughs> Just taking a moment to reconsider my options here. To hydrate. That's good. Hydration is good for you. Alright. Alright. I'm juiced up. I'm strong. My friends love me. They want only the best for me. And I can do anything I put my mind to. hits like a truck. I mean, everybody hits like a truck, but jeez louise. My brain. One, one more, one more, one more. I just need one more. I just need one more, gamers. I just need one more. I just need one more. I just need one more, and I can win big. I promise. I just need one more hit. <sighs> I need the harsh dopamine rush of victory. Aerial game is so hard to read. When she gets up in the air, it's like impossible for me to figure out where she's gonna go. Damn it. Damn it. Ah! Damn. The fight is on, gamers. John Talbane versus Morgan for the big pay-per-view WrestleMania. They're gonna slam jam until they can't no more. We only lose when we give up. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> we only lose when Morgan gives us permission to lose.
a succubus! Ah! Oops. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Fuck. Ah! <laughs> We're fighting the cat. Nyan nyan. On the bright side, I don't think she has any fireballs, so maybe she'll be a little easier to tackle. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Everyone is so strong in this game. Oh, that's cool. You break the you break the uh, columns in the background and the lights go out. That's sweet. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Damn, she wombo comboed me. <sighs> Exciting. Now it's time to get beaten up by a cat lady. Yay! Yay! Yeah, it's just three more and then the two final bosses. Why can she just pass you? Who knows? Who knows? It's Darkstalkers 1. Ow. I like that she changes colors when she uses her special moves. Ah, kicked sand in my eye. Killing me instantly. me out of my move. How dare you? Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Come on, Talbane. It's all you, buddy. She wasn't so naked, like some skin is totally fine, but this lady is fighting so nude. She's a cat. That's fur. She's just a little cat. She's just a little kitty cat. What do you mean? What do you want from her? She don't know no better. Cats are never naked. <laughs> well, this cat's special. She got struck by lightning, you see. It's a miracle that any of her fur stayed on at all, and she also grew awesome blue hair. You show the cat the internet one time, and it gets blue hair and pronouns. Unbelievable. <laughs> Scary. God. God, that move covers so much ground. She is... She is kicking all kinds of sand up. <laughs> She's delightful, though. I love her. Yeah, every single character is really charming. For a game that was originally intended to be, like, 
Universal Pictures when Monster Maker you, does that whatever. Mean you got pussy footed. Yeah. It does actually. It does mean that. USA. She's a kitty cat living in the big USA. With all the cool signs in USA that read Neko. Nyan Nyan. Well, that's cool. She like stand. She like uses her tail to prop herself up. That's really cool. How did you do that, ma'am? I want answers. How did you do that awesome and cool move? Ah. She's also a nun. She's found God. She knows more than the rest of us. Alright, 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 alright. We got a shot, we got a shot, we got a shot. I want to see a version of Sister Act starring Felicia. <laughs> Get on that, devs. Get on that, dev team. I dropped the ball big time. I had her, but I just dropped the ball. We'll be Goldberg and an actual cat girl in the comedy hit of the summer. Finally, comedy. I've been waiting years to laugh. Ooh. Ready. Here's the ball you dropped, Jipua. Thank you, Thrash. I knew you had my back. That move has such a big coverage. I understand why she uses it all the time. Damn it. Meow. Damn, that was a good corner combo. Whoa. I can't go fluffing myself just yet. We gotta clutch it out first. There we go. Now do it again. Whoa. Crazy aerial. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I was so bewildered by how strong her aerials are. I completely lost the whole fight. I lost myself. Death Battle had a Tal Bane fight Saber Wolf. Who came out on top? Who was the stronger wolf, friend? It could be anybody. I can't remember. <laughs> Guess it wasn't that engaging, huh? Death battle. I remember fucking, um, uh, what's his name? Bruce, whatever, fam fairly odd parents guy, Butch Hartman. I remember he like did a reaction video to their death battle that was like Jake Long versus Danny Phantom. <laughs> And he just, he obviously he was rooting for his boy, but it was really funny seeing him like try to rationalize everything from this completely like fan-made project. Because he would just like stop and say, um, actually Danny would have kicked his ass for this, 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 and this. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> what an insane human being.
Ooh. Enemies without fireballs are way easier to manage. From going from Dimitri to Morgan, like fireball to fireball. That was hell. Now it's time for Lord Raptor. Oh god. He's going for my strats. Just like constant low. What the hell? He killed me so quick. God, his theme kicks ass. Oh. Damn. He is. He's cracked. He He's on another level. I can already tell. I can already tell. Yeah, Scott McNeil. Everybody loves Scott McNeil. We watched a clip of him doing his iconic Lord Raptor rap. <laughs> Very absurd normals, yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, he's from Australia. Oh. He must know Holly. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, oh, he's fucking me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Woo. Heck, maybe he's from down under. She's from Texas. Yeah. Oh, fuck, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he was just kind of having fun with the teleports more than anything. At least she's not from New Jersey. Ah, oh, he had a thread left. He had one teeny tiny bit of health left. Damn it. I'm surprised at how short the music loops are on this. Maybe it's just a sign because it was such an early like PlayStation uh, release. They were really trying to figure out how to work with the um the data on the disc, maybe? I don't know. What the? What happened to the game? What the? What's going on? Things are happening. I'm scared. Okay, things are got better. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my camera died? What? Again? What's going on? Why is there a this on the screen? Get out of here, Foogie. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'll fix that in a second. The undead barely survived. I guess. My computer can only handle so much happening all at once, it would seem. This Beyblade move is quite intimidating. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh, man. I 
but the technical difficulties left my heart from being in that for a moment, unfortunately. That was scary. Like, something happened with, like, Discord or something, and it scared my whole computer. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Spooky. Spooky. Let me see if I can, uh, fix this real quick. Boop. Give that just a second to cook. Oh god, he's gonna kick my ass. Okay, hold on. Hold on just a second, mister. Hold on just a second, mister. Because we are so back. We are so back, everybody. <laughs> that was scary. That's scary. My computer freaks out from time to time, and I don't like it very much. But we're back in it. We're back in it. Oh! Oh, what? He's combo gratating, are you kidding me? Holy shit. I cannot believe the audacity to grab and grab and grab. He's good at doing the thing I do. <laughs> or I just jab, 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 jab. That means I gotta mix it up and be even faster and be even stronger. But we're so close. It's just a him and uh, 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 Rikuo and then the bosses, I think. Or Sasquatch. I forget if we've beaten Sasquatch or not. I don't think so. His theme song is really good. I'll give him that much. He's got a banger of a tune. Ah! <laughs> I was coming back for a little bit there. It's so scary when his hair's down like that. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is definitely a quarter eater. <laughs> if you somehow manage to make it through the fireball characters, this guy takes it further beyond. Okay, no, we do still have to fight Sasquatch. He is there, and he is ready. Ba 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 ba. God, that one... He just... Two moves took a half of my health bar, dude. Jesus Christ. I can't let him get away with that. Scary. <laughs> what a guy. What a killer. What a villain. What a vile villain. Ow. Damn it. Whoa. Come on. 
Come on. Cool. Okay, 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 okay. Raptor down. Another guy down. We're climbing, gamers. We've gotten over the great big bad hurdle. Um, oh god, the fish. He has so many ranged attacks. We're fucked. We're right fucked. Beautiful locale, though. Lovely place we found ourselves in. Where'd my health go? Where'd my health go? Holy shit. Love all these toucans. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, god damn it. His defenses are so high. No. The poison. Ah, damn. Okay, he doesn't seem too bad. He doesn't seem too bad. We're going to figure him out, everybody. The big funny fish man. We're going to put him in his place. And he'll be so sorry that he tried to step to us. And then we'll go out for pizza or something. I don't know. I don't know. What the scary movie just did? Ah, <laughs> his siren broke my brittle little ears. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like him flaring his gills. Oh my god, he's just going for all the status ailments back to back. Ugh. Whoa, big grab. The CPU doesn't really seem to know how to capitalize on all of his, like, stunning moves. His big, his big vortex he does, his sound waves, and his cloud of smog. He doesn't really seem to know where, where to go with it. He just does it and then tries to lean into something else. Strange guy. Strange pal. Strange friend. Whoa! He's got like a fucking Raiden move. Ah! I sassed him. I said he doesn't know how to use his moves and now he learned. Now I'm doomed. We just barely touched the tip of that. Oh! <sighs> okay, Riku is a little tough. Riku ain't a chump. Riku was strong and sturdy and has a beautiful, loving wife and child that he has to come home to. And we love that. A very faithful fish man. You couldn't ask for anything better. Jumping in, he just always knows how to counteract that. So it's very hard to get in against him. And the cloud stays out for so long.
Oh, Rikuo, stop! Stop it with your gills! Damn it. Uh, I feel like I lost control of myself there. I just sort of lost the battle during that. Let me see if I can get a hold of myself. Let me drink some more water. Okay, now I'm strong again. Now I'm strong again, gamers. We've come so far now. It's hard for me to want to turn away. No oh, fair, your reach is so long. <laughs> yeah, just walk into this, please. Walk into this, please. No! No! I hit a button when I shouldn't. Oh my god. It feels... So bad when you get grabbed back to back like that. Man. These CPUs don't play around, that's for sure. Do you think he's friends with Blanca? They're both from Brazil. They're both green. They've got a lot in common. Oh, hello! Mario Mayuki, welcome in, welcome in. How are you? Hi, everybody. Uh, how was your stream? Hold on, I have to click into my text box so I can shout you out. There we go. How was your stream, Marn? What were you up to tonight? We're playing Darkstalkers right now. We went over, like, all the Darkstalkers games and some different multimedia and stuff. Um... Uh, and we had a lot of fun doing that. Is, is that a common Rider Digimon? What? No. No. What? No. Don't worry about it. Hi, welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. It's legally distinct, I promise. We're playing Darkstalkers 1 right now. The CPU is absurd, but we're on, like, fight number 8 or 9 now, and it's really hard for me to back away and stop. So we're going to keep bashing our head against the wall, and hopefully we'll beat the arcade mode, which doesn't really get us anything, um, <laughs> but it's fun, so. Persona 3 Reload, oh, nice, nice. I've yet to play any Persona games, so I all any references or whatever are totally lost on me, but I know that's the new hotness right now. Everybody's in on, um, A, Aegis, and other such friends. I know the robot. She's cool. She's delightful. But that's about all I know about Persona 3. Whoa. Oh my god. He comboed me to hell. This game, you'll find, has a lot of really bizarre and fucked up damage values. Sometimes an enemy can just do two moves and half of your health bar will be gone. So it is pretty jarring. It's not quite as refined as Vampire Savior or Darkstalkers 3 if you're in the States. But I really wanted to see how the franchise got its start so that we're playing Darkstalkers 1. It is still a very competently made video game, but yeah, there are some things that are quite peculiar about it. 
It's very bizarre compared to other games in the franchise. Oh! Oh my god, stop! Damn it! How could you lock me in a big old beam of light like that? Ah, damn it. That smog is so annoying. No! Oh. You should have gotten your hands on more Darkstalkers. The game seemed like a rite of passage. Well, there is the there is a pretty recent Capcom collection of fighting games that has all five Darkstalkers on it. You'd be able to get that on any platform and play online, even. There's a few other fighting games on there, too, but it is primarily Darkstalkers. I think it's, I think it's just called, like, Capcom Fighting Collection or something. There's day workers in the house. Okay, well, take it easy. Thank you again for the raid. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Ah! Oh, I'm, I'm having trouble doing quarter circles again. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. I couldn't hit a single quarter circle in that whole match. Oh. Gross. Damn it. Whoa. God, getting caught in that beam is devastating. Because even if you're blocking it, he can just come in and fuck with you. He can come in and play with you. And there's nothing you could do. I knew fighting him would be scary. But once we beat him, it's just Sasquatch and then a couple of funky boss characters who will probably rip my heart out and make me say uncle. Damn it. <laughs> no. Damn it. I was so close. I was so close. God, I hate the mist so much. I can't really, like, lock him in the corner like I could with the other guys. He has such a good control over the ground. And he loves flapping his holes at me. I hate it when he flaps his holes at me. Bow! Brazil. Damn it. I thought I had him locked in a fun little combo for me and him both to enjoy. Oh, he got me with a grab. That's devastating. That's devastating. I had him right where I wanted him, but he snuck his tongue right in my ear. Detestable individual. Damn it. No, this is... This is just about all over. Okay. Man. Tal Bane's really got his work cut out for him this time. Poor Tal Bane. Boom!
Okay. Just needed a single moment of reprieve. But now I'm back. Now I'm ready. Now I can handle anything. Probably. Maybe. Not really. But we're going to dream. Oh, holy shit, that thing, that beam hurts you on the way up and on the way down. That beam is unfair. Okay, we took a round off of him. We took a round off of him, gamers. Am I ready for Evo? Almost. Almost. I'm getting there. Oh, bad start. I should have known. I should have known. Ugh. His disease. His fish disease. Ah, oh, we were so close. We were so close. This game's good. This game's good. <laughs> VSAV's better, but this game's good. They knew what they were doing over there at Capcom headquarters. No. Oh, how did I how did that miss? Oh. No, stop. You're cheating. Oh god, that move sucks, dude. It does so much damage. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness. His anti-air game is legendary. I can't believe how nuts he is with it, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Punch me the cloaca. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit him right where the sun don't shine or wherever. Wherever that is on a fish. Just you wait. We're gonna bop him. <laughs> Interesting development I'm learning. I can duck under his his magic dust. Huh. How about that? Interesting. Interesting. Interesting theory that we've come across. I can just duck and be completely fine from his little dusting maneuver. Oh. We'll still have to worry about that, but um Oh god, he's figured it out too. He's not doing it anymore. Stop. Oh, fuck. No. I can't duck under that. <laughs> Unless I'm like right next to him, maybe. No! His stupid laser beam! Why does he have that? That's so cheap. Man. <laughs> I was right on top of him, dude. I just needed to do a little teensy-weensy bit of damage, but I couldn't clutch it out.
What the? Oh. Huh. Strange. What? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's one. We got one in. We got one in the bank. We're figuring out Rikuo. We're figuring out Albeth, Albeth, or whatever. Whoops. Oh, but he's figuring me out too. Damn it. No! Ah. That fucking move, that beam, that awesome and powerful beam that he just loves to dish out. He whiffed the beam. This is our chance. No! <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! He knew exactly when I stopped blocking! Man! Ah, oh, come on. This damn fish. This wicked green beast. What? How did you? How on earth did you manage a grab out of that, sir? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Damn it. No. Oh! Hey, Goku. Goku, you want to try your hand at this? It's pretty hard. These guys don't play around. Damn it. We got caught in the smog. I turned into a car. He hit me so hard I turned into a car. That's life, I guess. Boop. On the bright side, I don't think Sasquatch has any projectile moves. He's got that snow thing he does, but that basically hits in front of him. So maybe that means we'll be fine. No! Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I felt my body fling from the chair for a moment there. The way I got carried off into the space like that. Slide, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, creature. You big old creature of the Brazilian lagoon. Legally distinct. This creature who bears no resemblance to any other creatures. Regardless if they be it from a lagoon, pond, lake, river, or etc. Oh, what? Is 
Stop. He's giving me a disease. It's not fair that this stage theme is such a jaunty tune to it. He's trying to he's trying to make sure I have a good time no matter how often he beats my ass. And that's messed up. I don't like how long that one lingers for. Okay. Okay, I've got to find myself again, gamers. I've got to really level up my gaming prowess and experience here. I'm dialing in. I'm opening up the eight inner gates. I'm taking the training weights off. I am Rock Lee. Thank you for noticing. And now I'm going to do my part and save the world from an evil alien by beating up my fellow freaks on this planet. God. I just can't... You can get your kick out as early as possible and that anti-air still beats you. That's messed up. Damn it. <laughs> ah. Okay, 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 we got around. We got around. We got around. You have to fight computer players very differently from how you fight real people. They just operate on a different level. Like, it feels like oftentimes PCs are, like, obligated to have to use their full arsenal or something. So they just, like, inherently play differently from a human being. But holy shit, he shredded me. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate that he was able to do that to me in my weakened state. In my teeny tiny state. But this time we got him. Gamers this time? We got him. Probably. Maybe. No promises. What a, whatever move he just did to me did so much damage. Ah, oh, this handspring? Are you kidding me? I've got to stay on the ground. This guy is too good at countering in the air. I just have to stay right here where I can see him. His anti-airs are insane. Oh, what? How does that beat that out? That don't make no sense. <laughs> Just do the same move over and over and it'll work eventually. It'll work eventually. No, 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 no. Oh! No! He was waiting. He grabbed. Why couldn't I get my kick out? Goodness me. I really thought we had him there, but he just kept on the defensive that whole game. I'm trying with all sorts of different techniques to get in on this man. And he does not make it easy on you. Ah! Oh!
Oh my goodness. All of it, the gas in the world. He's so full of hot gas. It's messed up. I jumped again, I was a fool. I should have known better than to jump again in front of Rikuo. Stop with the gills. <laughs> God damn it. How are you guys doing? Are you having a wonderful night? Did you do did you do anything cool today on this Wednesday, middle of the weekday? I gotta know. Grab. No, oh, damn it. Shit, man. He's so strong. He knows all the moves that I'm going to make before I even make them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that beam does like half my health. It's so brutal. I do wish the damage values were a little more managed in this video game. I will say that much. But this is going to be the one. Oh god, he tricked me with a little cheeky grab. And just like that, the turn tabled. Fuck. No. Whew. Hey, Pippi. E -p -p -e. Welcome in. How are you? We're doing our darndest to beat the computer at its own video game. And it has not been easy. <laughs> Crab Claw. Damn it. Damn it. The anti-air. I should have known better. Alright, we, we still have a shot. We could still take him down. Your fish law has... Where did my health go? Rico, please! Holy shit! Ah! Oh, man. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I cannot believe his eternal rudeness against me. It's so messed up. Stupid siren beam, please. Thank you. Okay. We're up around. We have the advantage. We just have to do it again. Damn it. 
Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, that's okay. We've got another we've got another round to spare. We'll be just fine, probably. Ah! Damn it. No! <sighs> oh! No! Please! Please, I'm just a little wolf pal. You wouldn't want to hurt the wolf gang, would you? You would. You would do that. You would. But this time for sure we've got him. I could be doing so many other things with my time right now. I could be playing so many other video games. I could be talking about my cool and awesome VTuber tournament that's happening this Saturday, March 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern. But I'm playing Darkstalkers The Night Warriors for PlayStation 1. Oh, the grab. <gasps> We survived the grab somehow. Somehow, with like literally zero health. One health. For what it's worth, we have been like getting better at the fight. We're usually taking at least one round off of him, so it really is just a matter of time before our ultimate move strikes him down. Damn it. Ah, he used the stupid long cloud. Unbelievable. Oh, it's weird when the music fades out and you can just hear them splish splashing in the water. Very strange. Oh, why did I go for the kicks? I know those hit high. I should have gone for little swipes of my paws. I'm at like the, uh, I'm at like the subway, um, hypothetical. Not the restaurant, mind you. But it's like, um, if you're waiting for the subway, the tram, the train, whatever, to take you from somewhere, and you don't know when it's going to come, every minute you stand there waiting for it is another minute you've invested to just stand there and wait until it happens, versus just um, taking it upon yourself to find another way home or wherever it is you're going. And every single minute that passes gives you all all the more reason to stay and wait because that's a that's more time you've put into the passion project there damn it damn it you know what i mean it's like i'm getting stockholm syndrome by dark stalkers i can't leave until the job's done <laughs> which is messed up at least Tal Bane never loses. He never loses his spirits. And that for that, I'm thankful. Damn it. His damn anti-airs. Oh my god. God, he threw me into a juggle. <sighs> I 
Oh, how many grabs do you have, sir? Damn it. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was it. That was two already. That was two already. Somehow that was two already. That's scary. That bothers me. <laughs> Ooh, damn it. Ah, oh, he's so cheeky. <laughs> I can't. Was that a coelacant? Was that a coelacant? I think that was the rarest, oldest fish known to man in the background. It's just hanging out here, I guess. Why'd I jump? I know better. Stays determined for some reason, somehow, some way, some wicked way, we make this happen. I really did want to play like VSAV and like open up Fightcade, but I feel like I'm just too deep into this now, and I would, I can't think to do anything else. Damn it. No! Oh. Okay, okay, we clutched out one. We clutched out one. Now we just have to do that again. Please. Damn it. Oh, don't put me in the corner. That's where you're supposed to go. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> let me, 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 let me dial in. Let me dial in. I did not dial in. What happened? Goodness gracious. <laughs> me and you, Talbane. You and me. We're gonna enter a neural mind link. We're just like Mega Man and Mega Mini. Stop spamming! You're cheating! Ah! Fuck. Damn it! <laughs> I like the monkeys in the background. The monkeys are a sort of calming presence amidst all the chaos. Damn it. Oh, you're a fool. No, I'm the fool! <gasps> I 
I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool after all. Howl at the moon. Let it give you strength. Crab claw? Oh, oh my god. No! <laughs> no, god damn it. Oh, it hurts so bad. Give me your energy. I'm Goku and I'm so thirsty. That's what he said, right? That's what that guy said? That big man with the orange? It feels so bad when he just grabs you out of your jabs. Okay, that's one. That's one, and we have the advantage. We've got the advantage right now. That's a good. That's positive. That's good for my mental state. The crab. No. Damn it. No. Ah, youch, man. Youch. Fuck. Fuck. Come on, Talvin. Talvin, come on. Yes! Oh! Ooh, we're having fish tonight, baby! Yay! Sasquatch! Sasquatch, my friend! Holy shit! Fuck me, dude. Just when I think I'm down and out, ready to give up. We, we pull it off somehow. Now it's time to learn this funny friend's way of life. I like how many Sasquatches are here. This is a delightful stage. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> he crushed me. Killed me instantly. Awesome grab. Uh-oh. Okay, the freeze isn't that bad, honestly. It doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't hold you in place for super long. I don't know if his kit will really let him uh, combo out of that, but I'm sure he's got other fun tools of the trade to work with. Holy shit. Okay, I see. I'm, get I'm picking him up what he's putting down. I might be okay to actually jump once or twice against him, unlike Rikuo. So that's a positive. And it's like every time I'm like, well, I, this is it, this is it. It's time to call it quits. And I win and they pull me right back in. They're robbing me of every single quarter I've ever known. Damn it. Oh, his big feet. Grody. Okay, that, that anti-air is very good, I've learned. What the? <laughs> He's got a beam? The snowmen are quite delightful. Nobody told me Sasquatch had a beam. I don't like that he blocks with his feet. That's scary. Oh! Damn it. 
I don't even know how long we've been playing the game. We've zatsued on for like at least 40 minutes. Then we had the whole discussion segment, which was probably like 20, 30 minutes. So we've just been like doing this ever since. His guard game is absurd. Oh my goodness. I like can't get in on him at all. He just knows exactly where I'm going with it. Ugh. What the? How did he bounce back so quick? That was a lot of damage. Ah, but he's so likable. No fair. <laughs> he's so cute. How could I be mad at him when he's having such a good time? He even appears in a snowball. That's awesome. Damn it. Uh-oh. We've let him corner us. That's no good. Just kidding. Now I've got the upper hand. Probably, maybe. Probably not. Oh! Damn it. Ah. Fuck, man. Whoa, that guy in the background's so big. He must be chief of police. Would you please stop blocking every single technique that I throw out? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! He killed me with style. Oh. If only I had a slew of snowmen oomphies to keep me going. My own cheer squad. To throw their pom-poms up in the air and say, You can do it, G-Pool. You can do it. Against all the odds. You can make magic happen. Ow. Oh my goodness. Sasquatch. Guys, I am not making any leeway on Sasquatch. The other characters I could sort of like figure out, but he is just on another level with his guard. It's so fucked up. Maybe I just sit in the corner and let him come to me. Maybe I'll just baby in the corner and then do long range attacks. Damn it. Oh. Damn it. Ah. That's such a scary move how he spins his foot around like that.
damn it. Oh. <sighs> I get one little combo on him and he knocks he knocks himself right out of it. Okay, I'm gonna try like one more time. I am really running out of steam here. <sighs> This is just getting absurd. I really wanted to see the boss characters. I wanted to see how insane they are, but I just don't know if I have it in me. Damn it. Uh. All right. I know I'm calling it quits. I submit this game's too powerful, at least for Talbane. Uh, uh, <laughs> I hate admitting defeat. I'm such a stubborn little bitch. That's life, I guess. That's life, I guess. This game is good. It's wicked. It's foul, but it's good. Um, hey, did you know, speaking of Darkstalkers, we're having a tournament of Vampire Savior, a.k.a. Darkstalkers 3, this Saturday, um, so be sure to check that out. Check out this cool promo video I made. Wapa. That's gonna be right here. My cam my webcam died again. That's fascinating. What is going on with this stinking thing? Nothing's going my way, but that's okay. That's okay. There's always next time. That's gonna be an exciting event. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for joining me. We are going to go raid the birthday boy, Captain. What? What do you mean invalid user? Whatever, it works this time. I spelled it the same, but whatever. <laughs> oh, it's because it included the at? That's weird. Oh, okay, well, thanks everybody for joining me. Um, again, oh yeah, tomorrow night, 9 p.m., more Wind Waker. Then Saturday is the big day. 16 VTubers having fun. Uh, happy birthday, little guy up and down there's our raid message you all know cube you probably said happy birthday to him earlier here when he was in when he was in chat but now he's streaming so now we got to go say hi to cube there um but yeah wonderful friend wonderful pal wonderful oomphy um i will see you guys tomorrow and in the discord and whatnot have a good night everybody bye